Hitting the brick wall seems to be synonymous with almost everyone. But I always think that mine came just a bit too early. I was thrown out into the cold at the age of 15. I can't tolerate anything. It's not a bastard in my house. You get out of here. Mama, please don't help me. 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 Please don't <laughs> this girl you threw out this night is my only child. Oh. <laughs> and I am sure you will not be this me if this one in my womb were in our sh sh Oh, let me tell you. But point of correction. <laughs> I will never ever give birth to a prostitute. The God's for it. <laughs> eh? And listen, this one in your womb is a product, a, 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 a product of, of, of my highly industrious wife. So she cannot be, if it's, it's supposed to be a woman, she cannot be a prostitute. Eh? Now, go to the house. Shara, come back! Shara, get Shara! Shara has Shara on the way. Come on, go to the house. No. Shara, no, come back! You no, wound yourself. <laughs> Listen, let nothing happen to this product of my highly industrious wife. Shara! Come on, go to the house. Why do I did not only run into the big world just too soon. I had to fight the consequences for the rest of my life. To my stepfather, I brought home shame and low weapons. To my mom, I brought home unwanted pregnancy. But for me, I brought back an end to my own life. <laughs> Going through tough times by reasons of what you did could be understandable. But when other people put you through pains, especially when the pain comes from people you least suspected, you stay with the heart and scar forever. I am not an unforgivable person as they think I am. And it is not my fault that I have unforgivable scars that they cannot see. 
which they at some point inflicted on me, thinking I would ever forget or forgive. Have you become so insolent that you could not knock and wait for me to ask you to come in before we entering my room? Uh -uh. No, a big man. I know, I know they know, but you don't answer, so I find the way. Could you get out of my sight before I tell you to beat? Get out! Sorry, madam. Call destiny for me now. Ma? Get out of my room! Oh, sorry, madam. Retarded me to it. You are not dressed? Are you kidding me right now? You just woke up from sleep. Listen to me. Before I get downstairs, I want you to meet me at the car and do not keep me waiting. Are you crazy? I don't want to go to school today. You don't want to go to school today? Ask what? Keep me downstairs and keep your destiny waiting for her. Mommy, I don't want to go to school today. <laughs> Mommy! You know, sir, at this thing, don't they bother me? They bother me. I don't they think I said, now which day we go wake up for this house, self? When it be like, say, everywhere go just day quiet. You know, go hear anybody noise. Everywhere go just day peaceful. I like, say, yeah, nah, nah, cemetery. You see your life. So, for this house now, now you they expect, say, you go wake up one day. Everywhere go be quiet like that. Or to say, madam. Don't travel, Abi, she die. Now here, go deep quiet. No, this because this is safe, eh? nah, Every day, madam must they shout. Wah, 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 wah. If you know the, if you know the shout for, for a character, you What are you two incompetent idiots doing? What are you doing there together? Is this supposed to be your little post? Madam, good morning. Eh? No, it, 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 that side is my, it's my position. Take your walkie ass to the gate immediately now. Oh, and as for you, what are you still doing? Eh, madam, good morning. What are you still doing? Madam, uh, now the car is clean. Now, will you work on yourself? Did you realize that I'm late for work? Hey, madam, now the same thing. Now the same thing. Now the car is clean. Now go carry go up this now. Now, will you work on yourself? Call your car, they tell me one stupid story. Now you just make me and never Don't keep me no waiting. Friends. Okay, no problem, madam. And what are you doing? You didn't even have your bait. Mom, I did. You did? Yeah, I had my bait. I'm just hoping I'm late. You don't to keep me waiting. What are you throwing on like some squatting? Madam, no, I don't finish. Hey, madam, I won't come out. No, we don't want to go out. As a matter of fact, we want to fly in. Okay, no, verse. I feel like I snap it or selfie. Get her from my, from my side. I don't get out already. Host ancestor. <laughs> She's just in her first year. 
She should wait until she gets her final year, then she can mess with any phone or any smartphone. Ha. Huh. Okay, madam, no problem. I go deliver the message to her. Just don't bother yourself. I have told her already. All I need to do is to remind her again. And let me have the phone. Yeah, oh, madam. So go on. What's going on? What is going on? They can't be like if they off, if they on, if they off, if they on. It can't, it can't be like saying they move. You see him? You see him? You don't uh, hear. Can, can you fucking stop this nonsense? Ah, madam, don't worry. I go manage and reach office. Just, just, just stop. You know what? Just, just stop. Okay, madam. Hi. What's the meaning of this nonsense? Oh, madam, don't be nonsense. So, now the, now the car be the problem. But then will you go down and go and check this car? I'm fucking late for work. Hi. What sort of incompetent jobs is this? I don't understand what they are Jesus wept. Are you crazy, Mr. Man? No, madam. Do you realize that I am late for work? Okay. Are you aware that I am late for work? Madam. Don't you dare message me this hot morning. Madam, don't worry. You go start. Don't worry. Now you the What sort of an idiot is this? A tape tree of an idiot. That's what you are. Why is it not starting? Your blood they hot. Oh my goodness, God, you see why I said you are an incompetent fool, a bruised zebra, a product of a torn condom. That is what you are, an idiot. Don't you understand me? A nitwit. Madam, I don't they try my best to be like say this motor. Don't spoil it. Will you tell me the person to start this car immediately? I'm losing it. Now the fuse are the check now. You better go and check the fuse. Better make this car start. If not, your destiny will start with your soul this hot morning. Madam, this car don't start. Don't spoil finally, yo. Excuse me? It's it not gonna start again. Is that what you're telling me? Madam, make I tell you the truth. You see why I said you are a product of a ton condom, a ball by mistake, a bastard, an idiot, a fool at 40. That's what you are. Madam, now the motor stop, motor spoil, it not be a condom issue. I think bring condom bring, come into this issue. Now motor spoil. Eh? See, Madam, the only thing what I feel do now is say, make her go find better. If now under this tree, I just carry you across the gutter. So that you go the rest. You know, say, as this your body be now, you know, good make the sun debut you. I am also, happy that you know that I was born, really, really giving birth to her as a child. But you, you were a born by mistake. And yeah, Madam, no problem for that one. What Shut up! Yes. Yes, please. Um, where are you? Yes, my car just broke down on the road, please. I'm parked beside the judiciary. Can you please hurry up to the space? Because I'm late for work already. Yes, please. I'm waiting. Thank you so much, please. Madam. Hurry up. Madam, come. Make, make I carry you across this, this, this side. Oh my God! What sort of a woman being is this? What is the difference between you and a bruised zebra? Tell me. Let me have my bag you covered with shot. Madam, this under this tree will go for you because of your skin. You haven't realized that you're stupid, you're dumb. Haven't you realized that you're so foolish, you're a coward? You haven't realized that? Yes. I said you're a bastard and you should never come back. Just shut up your mouth. How can you be so stupid? You are keeping me under this hot squashing sun. Hey, now you make a say, make a you go under the You want to carry me as my husband, as my wedding, as my wife. I want to understand this. No, Who the hell do you think you want to carry me? No, please. No, no, no. Hey? Oh, no. Yes, no, no, no. Hey, stop. 
It seems you guys are having problems here with your car. As you can see, I am not fine. I'm not. I'm, I can't even say I'm fine. Oh, well, your car, right? Yes. What is wrong with it? I don't know. My incompetent driver is driving me nuts. Oh, come on, that was too harsh. But he deserves more than that. So, young man, what's wrong with the car? Oga, no, no. As they come from house, would they express the motor they move? You feel like I say they move? Normally, car moves. Hey, okay, so what exactly is, is the problem? Hey, I see they move. He come, he come, they do like say he won't stop, he won't stop, he won't stop. I can tell my madam, say, make a manager and reach office. My madam say, no man, go check. As I just stop, the motor, I stop, check him. I don't see what did happen. I go start the motor. As I start the motor, you know, go start again. The motor does spoil finish. Is this guy not sounding like a product of a ton synergy? Sorry? He's not making sense. It, it, it's okay. It's, it's not a big problem that we cannot take care of, okay? Are you actually going my way so I can drop you off? I think so. Please do. Okay. I'm already running late for my office. Okay. Um, your car, guy. Um, I'm gonna tell you what you do to the car. Okay. You see this? You see this uh, wire? Just try and uh, unplug it, clean it. If you have something like iron brush, just brush it a bit, then put it back. Then touch the plug the head. Okay. Mm. It will start. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you. Hey, hey madam. If you give me small money now, I go use hey, entire. Your generation perished and died. May your generation die from poverty and you are an idiot, a fool. Look at your hair like some competent zebra. So to see the size of this. So bad. I wish you the same. All this competent, idiot, zebra, condom. Because I ask you for small money, why I go take enter a, a taxi in case this motor no stop, no 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 start. Now they give me all those things. Don't worry, I wish you the same. Okay, woman. Which guy? Nah, zebra more. He competent more. Condom more. He mukem cause of which the other one? Wait, talk. Mr. Salami, I wouldn't want to repeat myself again. If you think the guy is competent at the thing about him, then let him go with me to the interview. I don't give jobs based on recommendations. Have a good day, Mr. Salami. Uh -huh. What is it? You, of course. Drop it there. Has Sharon arrived yet? No, ma. All right, you can leave. You know, I don't even think that a competent fool will be able to take my car out of that danger zone. I know, that was too harsh. And you know, sometimes you got to give some people opportunity to know what they can do. Oh, please. That guy is a dollar. The same thing with my gift, man. They are so useless to me. And I don't know why they always say I'm hard on them or I'm a bit rude. Are you sure that I've been truthful? Because I can see a tom of it, you know? You're kind of harsh from what I saw there. They deserve more, trust me. Are you harsh? Um, can we stop talking about me? Okay, it, time okay. to talk about you. Okay, my name is Emmanuel. Yeah, I'm a very okay. simple person. Um, actually, I'm going for an interview before I ran into you and decided oh. to help you out. Okay? And actually, the car I am driving right now isn't my car. It's my friend's car. Oh my god. In case God. if you do not see me in it again. You were driving your your friend's car and you decided to pick me up with it and you also have an interview. Who does that? I, 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 saw, I saw you. I saw you and your, um, maybe your boy or so, someone, I don't know, talking and, and decided that I, I just concluded that something is wrong. So I had to come down to help you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> I was actually rushing for an interview. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. I don't have a job, actually. I'm looking for a job. Don't worry, you will get one. <laughs> <laughs> so my company is just a little bit done. Okay, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Sorry, you didn't tell me your name. Oh, my name is Sharon, my bad. Oh, Sharon. Sharon. Okay. Nice name. Thank you. I've been waiting for you. That is not how I operate. Sorry about that, ma. I am not interested. Can I have the money? The money is here. But first, the consignment. Let me smell the scent of your money. Business is built on trust. That's your consignment. Sorry, I don't operate that way too. Come on, you have nothing to be afraid of. You can trust me. Go ahead. Put the money in my boot. Here is your consignment. Boy doctor, is that supposed to be his name? Yeah. I see. What about your interview? Do you think you're still going to make it? Yeah, we'll make it. I still have about four, 45 minutes to the place. I normally prepare two hours before my interview time. Wow, are you really Nigerian? Of course, I'm a Nigerian. You know, I don't uh, actually portray that... Uh, that time that they normally impose on people. I mean, it's African time. I don't normally do that. I see. Because I know outside outside the country, they normally portray us not to be punctual in mm -hmm. everything we're doing. So I'm always time conscious in everything I'm doing. Mm, that's nice. I actually woke up late, but if not for your car that stopped me on the road a bit, I would have gotten to my destination. Thanks all the same. You're welcome. This is exactly where I'm going to for the interview. Really? Yeah. Well, I think you need a piece of my advice. Oh. The HR is actually a very hard person, a really hard not to quack. Oh. So you just have to be careful with her. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. I wish you luck. Uh, uh, oh, can I drive inside? Okay, yes, you can okay. actually. Oh, okay.
Oh my goodness, what? What is this? Sarah, can you please calm down? Who is this guy? You don't get it, do you? Does it mean that Josh has been training me? That son of a maggot, son of a Lucifer, where the hell did he emerge himself from after all these years? Where do I even start from? And when did you say was the interview? How about now? Now? Yeah. Like now? Yes. Oh my And what's your name? My name is Emmanuel. Oh, Mr. Emmanuel. Please have a seat. Okay, thank you. Madam, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I hope there's no problem. We are really not about paper qualifications and documentary accolades. How do you mean, ma'am? I'm not impressed with what I see. Ma, well, please. Why don't you give me the chance to at least to do something, please? I can't, Mr. Emmanuel. I'm sorry. The job is not for you. Uh, it won't be bad if you can give me the opportunity to prove myself. Please. Uh, I'm not impressed at all. I just don't see the potential in you. Please, you may leave. If you check for where can you might see. Can you please leave? Is Mr. Emmanuel still in the premises? Send him back. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Mr. Emmanuel, my mother wants to see you. Oh, really? Yeah, let me go. Thank you. Please, I, I think I should give you an opportunity to prove your confidence. Hey, Ma, thank you. Thank you, Ma. You know, I'm already sweating outside. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Can you cut the excitement? 
You don't have the job yet. It's just a try. Okay, um, I'm fine. Josh, Josh, Josh. What is this? I'm sorry, Josh. Nobody crosses me in God's country. This is a sweet business. Steady and quiet. Others making you rich. <laughs> I'm never gonna be poor anymore. No joy. <laughs> Hello, boss. How did it go? Shit! I knew it! I knew that that bastard is going to try to play fast one! Fuck. Oh, shit. Alright. Talk to me now about what is happening. The person I saw earlier today was Josh, Destiny's father. What? Your daughter's father? Yes. <sighs> Why would he just emerge from nowhere? I don't know. What did he say to you? Listen, Sarah, I don't know what you have in mind right now. But there's no way that guy will just zoom out of the blues to intimidate you. You need to act. And very fast. Who would have thought that same extremely rude and stern woman? whom I almost ran over and offered to drop out wherever she's going to while I was watching the interview. I was almost running late. It was the same person who owned the company where I was going for the interview. Wow. Nice. That's so sweet. Your goodwill paid off. How do you mean? Of course it did. Let's put things in perspective. 
What if your encounter with her ended up on an awkward way? Do you think you could have gotten the job? Besides, you said her had to please HR already find you on feet for the job. But she particularly asked her to call you back. Think about it. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. She said something. You know, she said if I could go out of my way to render her help, then she's certain that I could do anything for the company. I mean, go out of my way to do anything for the company. And that was why I was called back. You know, no, it's good to be good. Your God is with you. Your good will pay the way for the comeback. You should be grateful to her. Of Come on, man. Of course I am. Very good. Nice. That's a good word. Uh, I met Sharon today. Wait. You mean the lady you told me you abandoned some years ago? Exactly. But I thought you said she was dead. So I thought. Uh, all of this are you Just these? Out of sheer benevolence. I'm not supposed to give you a dime for the next two weeks. For the huge assignment you messed up. Boy, you know it wasn't my fault. Oh, yes, it wasn't. Because you are in charge of the operations. And you know I make no room for excuses. But boss, you know I have been shortchanged of my share for the past one week. I have bills to pay. Oh, same way I had plans for the huge deal you messed up out of your carelessness. Oh, hold a second. Intel's from brothers on the other side. So you've been having a payment too. How come you didn't inform me? I don't know anything about that. I haven't had any side thing going on. Really? <laughs> um, you know, the luck you had was that you are very smart, intelligent, and that's one thing I like about you for you to be able to go back to the scene and got rid of the body. You know something? I've got my investigations going on and you know the consequences what I found out. The real truth behind it. I have no idea of what any of that means. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Go have fun. What are you waiting for? Thank you, boss. You are living dangerous life, yeah. Putting yourself at risk. This lifestyle is dangerous. Uh, where is your patience? Yeah, your life is at risk. Uh, You can hide your sins. You can hide your sins. It's written all over. All over you. You can hide your sins. It's written all over you. All over you. Are you okay? Why does he keep doing this nonsense? No, tell me why. Just for one little job that I missed. Yet the money that I've made for that bastard since I knew him is what made him who he is today. Tell me, why would he keep doing that nonsense? He's nothing. You know, you can't do anything with money that you did not make in the right way. Emmanuel, what's that supposed to mean? Don't even add to my injury, all right? What I'm saying is that you just have to. Stop any shitty business you have to do with that guy. You don't even know this guy, yet you talk about him freely, or even think of advising me concerning him. Listen to me, BD. That's not the point. Then what's the point? I should leave what shitty business is, Ali. I'm asking you, Emmanuel. The same shitty business that has 
sheltered and fed us for all these years. The same shady business that bought us the cars that we drive. Giving us good life. What are you talking about, my nigga? Come on. Baby, listen to me. Don't be in me, all right? You don't know what I'm talking about. Or you have no idea of what I have to go through in the hands of that idiot just to keep things going. That is what I'm talking about, baby. We don't need any shady business to keep us going anymore. I mean, you need to stop. You have to quit already. My salary will be enough for us. You are mad. Did you hear me? You are extremely insane. What are you talking about? Do you think I will leave all the money and comforts I'm already used to and settle for your peanut salary? Boy, I won't do that. Boy, boy. Look, let me tell you something. I don't have time for all this nonsense that you're about to say now, okay? What I know is that very soon I'm going to end all this nonsense and I don't care who lives, who dies, or who tells the story. I don't fucking care. Get out into your car. You are living dangerous life Yeah Putting yourself at risk This lifestyle is dangerous uh, Where is your conscience? Yeah Your life is at risk You can't hide your sin. You can't hide your sin. It's written all over, all over you. You can't hide your sins. It's written all over, all over you. You can be strong, but you are not the strongest. You can be smart, yeah. you are not the smartest. Yeah, cause no one knows it all. For. Do you want to get, get yourself killed? Get to me. I don't trust man to talk to me, Dennis. It is the gods for me. Tell me what are you doing? I can go back. I go back. Go back. Let me listen to you. Go back. Go back. Go back. Leave me alone. I said you should go back. My friend, leave me alone. Go back. 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 Go Tell me! Tell me! Tell me! Tell me! You want to know what I will do, right? Tell me! Prostitute. Yes, she used to be my babysitter. <gasps> no, 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 sorry, I, I don't understand what is going on. Do you mean you know her? Yes, she used to be my babysitter. What? Please, just let her go. No, 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 Saron, don't do this now. Please. Please. I don't like this, though. 
I'm sorry, man. Really, shut up! What are you waiting for? Yes, 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 yes. Listen to me. If I see you close to my husband again, I will kill you. Do you understand? Never. Now flee! Get out! Run! Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's leave. into your house you say I freaking got you this house and I paid for it is that why you, you barge into my house at any given opportunity I'm a woman I'm entitled to my freedom and privacy and is that why you don't want to stop fucking that man I don't understand what you're saying listen I am not joking I am not playing with you. You were lucky that Kemi didn't kill you. You were very lucky. Fine. Since you don't want to stay away from that man, I will use you to get him. Hmm. I'm not interested in any of your dirty games again. I almost got killed today. But I am going to kill you if you resist to listen or do as I said. I am going to kill you. You know who boy Dr. is, right? You know your boyfriend. I don't make any little threat. Be one. sounded rather too urgent on the phone. What's going on? I'm scared. Your wife almost killed me today. Do you know how she knew about us? I swear I had no idea. Can you just take What's going on? Tell me. What Your wife it? is not only the problem. My so-called boyfriend has doubled up. Tell me about it. He now follows us everywhere we go. He knows what we do, where we are. In fact, he knows everything. Like, he has been threatening to kill me. I can't do anything like that. I cannot. I have to take care of him. No, no, no. can't do anything. That boy is dangerous. I don't want him to hurt you. Oh, you knew all this, yet you are dating him. You call him your boyfriend. Can you just take me out of this place? I'm tired. Take you out of this place. place. You know I can't take you to my house either. Where do you want me to take you to? Take me anywhere. Take me to one of your guest houses. Please. I'm tired. Do you think he won't find you there? I don't care. Okay, just calm down, okay? <laughs> Thank you. 
Kemi. What was the meaning of that stunt you and your friend played earlier today? I like the fact that you can talk about your mess without any atom of shame. Dennis, what sort of a man are you? There's hardly a week I don't run into you with your cheap alerts. Shame on you, Dennis. Listen, woman. The girl you saw today has done nothing to you or anyone. Oh, we're just giving her a lift. Yes. By the way, where did you and your friend take her to? Your slut should have called to tell you I didn't kill her after all like I intended to. She should be thankful to Shannon. You mean? You would have killed an innocent girl? Kemi, when did you become a villain? The moment I realized that my dear husband has lost control over that tiny thing in between his ties. Listen, Kenny. Since when did you start walking into my room when I invited? Yeah. Hey, Kaite. I beg ma. This one strong. I, I just say we, we, we be friends now. Mm. Eh? I know we see where they carry your face. So like, I don't know where put an ordinary water. I know we ask you what's going on. But as it be, so it be like, say, you know what? No, no problem. I will still just make I go, eh? Kaite, wait. Ma, 
sit down. Good sit Earlier today, my mom and I bumped into a strange man a while ago, and he looked so happy to see us. And the expression on my mom's face and the way she zoomed off, it got me thinking. And I think something. You you think? Hey, this girl. You think? What do you think for your age? Eh? Yeah. She, you know they see this your body. What do you think? Now, before you they think, they think, they think, talk to your mama face. Now. I did. I tried to talk to her, and all she could say was nothing. So, what's in the difficulty there? I think it's, it's so hard for you to understand. A strange man cannot just emerge from nowhere. And all of a sudden, he's chasing us and we're running. Mm. I mean, come on. That one day is safe, too. I know my mom is saying, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing. Eh, if she say nothing. Obviously, there's something. Eh, if she say nothing. Nothing na, nothing na. Okay, see, I, I doubt you understand. I doubt you understand. I understand. Nothing na, nothing. You need to make that. You need to stress yourself, you think, you think. I see you here. Ah, ah. You be small, piggy. You think I could add flesh for this your biscuit for me? She did. What did you think? Nothing, man. Nothing. Like that. Eh? Uh, yes. Yes, man. Uh, you are living dangerous life. Yeah. Putting yourself at risk. This lifestyle is dangerous. Uh, where is your conscience? Yeah, your life is at risk. Uh. You can't hide your sins. You can't hide your sins. It's written all over. All over you. You can't hide your sins. It's written all over you, all over you. You can be strong, but you are not the strongest. You can be smart. Yeah. You are not this man. No one knows it all. Don't think you are fast. No go. You cannot be faster than your shadow. Chief, your greatest political opposition has been pulled down. By the break of dawn, you hear the news of his demise. Yeah, an unknown just delivered it. Enjoy your state of being on a post, Chief. Be mindful. So be careful. Be careful. One day you can go back fire. I mean, who could have done this? Huh? Otumba was one of our biggest investors and patrons. What's all this? Sharon. What is going on? Did you hear anything I said? Yes, I heard you. Are you aware that Utumba was assassinated last night?
Yes, I am. Is that what is weighing you down, or is there something else I do not know? I have a pressing issue at hand at the moment. Sharon, what could be more pressing than one of our biggest investors who was murdered in cold blood last night? I ran into Josh yesterday. My daughter and I ran into him. And you know what that means? It is not safe for my daughter at all. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking of relocating her and, you know, for her to complete her studies over there. Come on, Sharon. I don't think it's that serious. You don't think it's that serious? Can you listen to yourself talk? I am telling you that I ran into Josh. A strong hate man. Who knows? He might even have a hand in Otumba's assassination. What? You mean you know who killed Otumba? I am not certain. I never said so. I'm just uncomfortable. My daughter and I ran into him yesterday. After we left the premises, we found out that he was still following us. Who knows? He might have trailed us down to our house. Same George guy? Yes. This is serious. Very serious. Chief, Chief, you know that nobody delivers like I do. All you needed to do was to leave everything to me. <laughs> mm. uh, are, they, are they suspecting that you, you killed him? You know what? Do not hesitate to let me know to drop anybody who points an accusing finger at you. What did they call you for, Chief, to, to fill a state over the death of the flag bearer? <laughs> so what about um, Otumba's vice? <laughs> wow, that's good news, Chief. With all this in perspective, there's actually nothing to worry about, isn't it? I think, um, uh, that means we're actually clinching for a win. <laughs> chief, chief, that's all right. Um, whatever it is, just let me know, all right? All right, chief. Get out of here. <coughs> what are you doing here? question should be, how did I know this place? Don't you think so? BD, you don't have any right to trim me or pester me around. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! What is even wrong with you? You think you can sell me out and fall in love with a married man? Really? Is that how cheap you were? Look, BD, I better be a side chick to a married man than to marry a criminal like you. Wait. Is that what all this is about? Hmm? But I told you that you should give me more time, that I'm going to stop. It's just a matter of time. Listen, babe. I've got a clean deal for both of us. What deal are you talking about? Why are you following me? 
Oh, Sharon. Look at you. I've got something to tell you. You've got something to tell me. Mm -hmm. and that's why you'll be following me everywhere. Now you listen to me. You might think I'm the same Sharon you left years ago. Hmm. Try to do something funny, and I will put you at your place at once. And I mean every single word from my mouth. You know, uh, I've come to understand that you've amassed so much wealth, prominent and connected. And that is why I am back. Come on, do not let me kill you. Mm. See you again soon. Sharon, are you mad? What if that bastard got you killed? That guy is dangerous. You said it yourself. What were you actually thinking? I am not afraid of Josh Kimi. And one thing I know is that I am so ready to fight him. This time around, and I mean every single word. Look, Sharon, what you're doing does not make any sense. It doesn't make sense. You should get this guy arrested. I have to go now. We will talk tomorrow, please. What is wrong with this woman? Does she want to get herself killed? this for? You're asking me. You told me he can't stay here. Yet you left the hotel without telling me. I thought you said he was going to he was going to slaughter you if you stayed here. I can explain. What do you want to explain to me? What do you want to explain? Your stupid boyfriend sent my wife a note threatening to kill his own father, not my husband. Not, 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 not my wife. You see? See what? You are not making any sense to me. What are you saying? Is not what we planned. I'm the master planner here. And you will shut the fuck up and let me do some thinking. Think about what exactly. We've discussed this already. Do you know the caliber of person you're holding hostage? Jesus Christ. This is a kidnap and I'm not part of it. Hey! Will you shut up? Shut up and let me do some mental stimulation. What's your problem? Why are you freaking out? DJ, I'm not part of this and I can never be! <laughs> Too late. You're already part of it. And if you don't keep calm, I'll kill him and get you implicated. Do you know what it is? Nobody can come for boy doctor. I always stay dangerous. I've never missed my shot. You can untie me. We can discuss as men. Do you still think I'm a good man? Huh?
Okay, okay, please. Oh, what do you want? You've been sleeping with my girlfriend. I never knew she was a girlfriend, I swear. You even lie. Huh? What, what, what did you just say? I, I, I never knew she had an hoodlum and, uh, and the kidnapper as a, as a boyfriend. Then you shut up and listen. Now I'll give you a phone to call your account officer. Tell him to make a withdrawal of 500 million naira. Jesus Christ. Both of you shut up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Like I said, you will call him. Tell him to make the withdrawal and change it to dollars. I will give him the location where to drop it. <laughs> this is, this is arrant nonsense. This is travesty. I mean, this is absolute hilarious. You don't speak in English. Uh, where do you think I can get such amount of money from? How am I supposed to know? If I know where the money is, I'll go get it myself. Now, let me tell you. You have now and the next two hours. Else, I will waste you and I will still get the money. Don't drop with boy doctor. BD, this is unfair. Are you making the call or not? BD, I'm having a bad feeling. You always have bad feelings. See, I honestly think we should both and play back to our initial harmless plan. Do you think I should be soft for a man like Dennis? We've been... Babe, listen. Tough men like Dennis deserves a tough hand <laughs> and strategies, all right? BD... We've been here for over two hours now. No sign, nothing, nothing. We go there here, this matter go cast. The though. matter no go cast, babe. Boy, doctor, matter never cast before. You can make your research. Come on. I think with you now, you the fear. <laughs> to now this is the way don't worry i know the way just follow me come on follow up follow up come on what are we doing here know what I'm thinking. Exactly what you're thinking, babe. My boy, tag too good care of you. Q, 
You know you are a very good and obedient businessman. You're smart. You're loyal to your business. Please. You can take the money. Oh, please don't kill me, please. I will never cross your path again. Please. Oh, damn it. God forbid. That would be too evil of me. Don't worry, you are safe. And I think I can trust you. But I can't trust my girlfriend. Where is it, G? The whereabouts of my girlfriend is none of your business. Your major concern now is how to be thanking God for saving your freaking life. Because God just saved you. Alright? Thank you. Let me tell you something. If you try to come for me out there, of course you know all the deadly men out there caught my back. They're all loyal to me. They will come for you. They will come for your families, including your village people. Did you hear me well? Yes. Now look at me. Look at me! Tag. You need to report to base. Come and take care of this shit. Please, don't don't let him kill me, please. Don't. Shut up! Fine, sir. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I I, th I think I need a, a one bath. Is dinner ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We just said it. I'll be done shortly. All right, so. All right, see you tomorrow. 
midnight. Let's see what is it. Madam, there is something I want to tell you. Mm -hmm. The boy or girl was looking when he came back this evening. Or well, somehow. He was looking very dirty and tired. Really? Yes. Did he say anything to you? He only asked me to set up dinner and went upstairs. But he never came down again. Oh, thank you, Lucy. You can go. What's wrong with her, Madam Sharon? Now do you mean? I thought both of you had a picture in this morning. Yeah, but she seems not to be in the mood. What did she say the problem is? Ma, I don't know. We were supposed to be leaving at 12, but now it's past 10. We should be leaving now just to beat the traffic. That's fine. I'll talk to her later. Okay. So, what's going on in there? Mom, we came a bit late. The queue is still long. The queue is long? Yeah. How many more companies are we talking about? Like six or seven. Six or what? Yeah. That's not what the HR told me. I thought we had only three competitors. But I have these good feelings that we're going to win the bid. What are you talking about? We have been waiting here for the past four hours. We should try somewhere else, please. Um, we've come a long way that we cannot go back now. We can't stop, okay? Not what, now. What are you talking about? Now. You, of all people, just told me that we have six or seven people. Yeah. What is the possibility? What's even fun about you waiting and they still give the slot to some other person? Mom, I, I have these strong feelings that we're going to win this, okay? This is the this is the hour our company have been waiting for. This is a breakthrough. So I believe that we're going to win it. I... I I don't even believe in that. Not one bit. Mom, why don't we just go inside and wait? You just have to calm down. Can we go inside? Close to five hours. What sort of presentation is this?
Hello, Miss Kemi. Hi, Manuel. Please, can you pass your phone to Sarah? I don't know why she left her phone in the office. Yeah, we've waited here for so long, so she got angry and, I uh, mean, she has gone to meet with the management. You mean it's not your turn? <laughs> well, I know. Oh, it doesn't matter. You guys went late, so you have to wait. I told her so, but I think she's angry already. She should better come back and sit down before she goes down and spoil things for all of us. All right, I'll give you a call later. Wow. You can imagine we got here and she told me that I'm going to be the one to bid for our company. And if I mess up, that she's going to get me arrested. I mean, uh, I think that wasn't a joke. Or do you think she was joking? <laughs> Emmanuel, you will be the first to know. But the Sharon I work for keeps to our lives. It's okay. All right. All right. Bye. I mean, I'm still here all alone. Nothing has been done yet. I'm still here waiting. Well, she has gone to pick her daughter from school. Okay. You like it or not, Man United, then Sabi play ball, not because say uh, Liverpool go win them. Chelsea is even Sabi play ball. Pass to Liverpool. Me, 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 I don't tell you, say, Mayu and Chelsea, now Liverpool nine play ball, pass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, they, 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 This boy, every time on that, you're going to This woman, man, I hope we are there, folks. And as for you, where were you when Destiny came into this house? Eh? Destiny? Eh, are they, are they house now? In the house? Yeah. I asked her to wait for me somewhere. Just 30 minutes late, she left the place I asked her to wait for me. Eh? Mm. Now, so she talk. She say you talk say me she wait for you, but she don't wait for you. Wait, wait, wait. So they, she don't they lose weight like two faces. Now me she enter cab, begin come back. Come back. So now you are defending her. Uh, you are defending her. You enter cab, come back. And you open the gate for her. Madam, look me open and the you, gate. We are around. Both of you are around. You are very stupid. Yes. Hey. Madam, tell you to go and cut his hair. Now this year where they do jagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadag
Give me a boy that can up here now. Shut up! Cost ancestors. Mm. See small people, we 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 no 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 even see no meet with one year. Yes, she slapped me. So when when she the big pass you here you did. I'm not gonna fire you for that question. Where they no, ask me? No, now when, when she the big. If not, you want it now. You see, you see. If not, say this one they pay me. I'm gonna see you. Somebody where you, where you say you see me or not, I ain't slap you now. So you know you know if you do anything. But me, when you know, say if I change my mind now, say I won't just descend on you now. Your people got go start to wear black. They cry, say person don't die. Who? You. Tell your sinners to up and down. Anyway, not be her fault. Last, last, now thunder go fire poverty. Because if you say my papa do me well, they settle me well. And for no day, yeah, they do this boy boy thing. Now this driver, where they drive him now, she goes stay back. I go the driver. Why they cause all this rubbish? I beg, shut up your mouth, Charlie. Shut up your mouth. So what did they try to talk now? Say. Last, last, uh, uh, adult who's not scam. I mean, shut up your mouth. Eh. You should be grateful, self say you sabi drive. Because the only thing where they're important for your generation and, and this driving. They tell you saying everybody, family, now richness they come from. Now, you are planned, you are born to be poor. Come where? He say, last, last. Don't say your family people no get money. Say, nah, 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 wish this thing. I bet let me check. Last, last, you won't know. You won't. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Hmm, there's something wrong. Did you just answer my question back with the question? Mom, I waited. The question was, what is wrong with you? Mom, I waited for you for over two hours, and I thought the wisest thing to do was to take a cab home. And you thought the wisest thing to do was to take a cab home. Didn't I give you an instruction to wait for me at the school? Mom, it was getting dark. It was getting dark, and you had to display me. Mom, I waited for you for over two hours. And I had to start coming home. I took you a waited cab. for me for two hours. You took a cab. But I gave you an instruction. I asked you to wait for me, right? Mommy, what if you got into a problem or something? What if you got into a problem or something? You had to disobey me. Really? Mom, why is this instruction so important than my safety? Are you crazy? Have you lost your sense of timing or what? Have you gone bananas? How dare you raise your voice at me? Mom, there is something you are not telling me. Something like what? Mom, I saw that man from today. I saw that man from the e tree. You saw that man from the e tree? Yes. And you got into a conversation with him, I guess. Mom, he followed me from the cab. Oh. Now tell me, since when did he start talking to strangers? Was that how you were brought up? Did I train you that way? Mom, he said you guys were close friends. Do you know what? Henceforth, after school, you wait for me at Kemi's place. And heaven help you. Do not leave that place to any other place to get anything for any reason. I do not care. If I make myself clear. Mom, what is going on? If you can just tell me who I make myself clear. Mom, if you can just tell me who that man is. And what he wants from us. And who is that? Do I make myself clear? Claire. Mommy, you will not tell me what to do. I will not tell you what to do. I have a right as well. Would you rather I find out the truth from an outsider? Sharon? The more reason I couldn't call her. Are you nuts? Something wrong with you? Sharon, what's going on? Can you calm down? What's going on? You will Sharon. tell me who that man is. I can see you have gone wings. Just prepare yourself. Next week, you will be moving to Canada. I'm not going anywhere. Will you, you shut, shut me up? Shut up, Destiny. Watch me do it. I'm not going anywhere. Shut up, I said. How can you be talking to your mother in such a manner? Billy!
So all you have to tell me is that I should calm down. My daughter disobeys me and you're telling me to relax. Sharon, all I am saying is that you should cut her some slack. Cut her some what? Some slack? Do you know how many slacks I have cut her for 15 years of her life on it? Come on. What I am saying is, I do not want her to go through the same thing that I had to go through, bringing her alive on it. No, I don't. I got pregnant with her when I was 15, and she is 15 years old. I'm just trying to be careful. I am sure if she was in my shoes, she would have aborted me. Okay, you don't have to go that route. My daughter and I ran into Josh today. Josh again? What does this guy want? Look, Sharon, I think it is high time you reported this matter to the police. I mean, why is the guy pestering you and your daughter? That idiot almost made me take my life. But trust me, this time around, I would be the one tearing him to shreds. Listen, in hold your dream. Please, don't let the sudden imagine of this guy bring a rift between you and your daughter. Don't come off it. That stupid girl. I already told her. If she does not comport herself, I would have no other option than to throw her to Canada for her to complete her studies. I need every word. Watch me. Mm. We're already finishing the way. Are we still making a toast? Of course we are. Well, what are we toasting for? You, of course. Let's toast to a job well done, a presentation done and dusted, and most importantly, to the biggest contract of the year. So, to the biggest contract of the year, all thanks to you, you have been God sent to this company. No, I'm, I'm being flattered here. Uh, flattered. I'm not. Mm -mm. I'm just saying the truth, right? Yeah. So, a toast. Sure. More money, mm -hmm. more weight, mm -hmm. more contract. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Then this is unacceptable. There is no way I am taking this. Never. It will not happen. Then it's can you, Dennis, can you help me understand why you took a whooping 500 million naira from the joint account? Well, I invested in a business. What business require you using 500 million naira to invest in? Dennis, there's definitely something you're not telling me. What are you insinuating? No, you tell me. Tell me, I need to hear. Kimi, can you calm down? You're talking to your husband, remember? Dennis! Dennis, I am asking you, what did you do with the money? And I said, I invested on a business. And I refuse to believe that! See, I know there's something you're not telling me. But trust me, when I'm ready, you will see all of it. I will not take this. You will tell me. When I am ready, you will tell me. You don't want to mess with me on this. <laughs> You tell me what you did with 500 million now. Kimi, you act actually, you're actually pointing at your husband, you know that. James, James, James. Why are you blaming me? This guy was going to kill me if I had said a thing. What are you saying? Anyway, I still maintain you step down. Don't bother yourself. I can take care of my wife. Okay? You don't get it, do you? Do you want this guy to kill me? Is that what you want? James, honestly, I do not like your impunity in this matter. Guys, stamp down. James, 
I, I maintain stand down please i'll call you later my friend open this gate now what's the meaning of this one one eh am i going to see a man mr willow oh, open this gate now now noise is just a new code. Noise. Hey. So wait, I move you say you know books. Hey. What is one they do for English when they speak? You hmm. say this gate, I'm not go open again at my office. Not be your present today that the way your mama will hear me slap like in a souvenir. Give me better slaps just because of say I allow you come up for here. So wait, so oh, as you really find rich, you know Sabi speak English. What is one they do for the English? Mr. Williams, you are pissing me off. Open it, open this gate. Oh. You go hey. shit for body today. Now let peace. You, yeah, now you go shit for body. I go pack, I go through away. You, mo you go shit for body. Mr. Williams, uh -huh. I have begged you. I have respected you enough. Open this gate. Let me go and collect something now. No, beg me. I'm not telling you, you beg me. If you must come up for here, you better call your mama. If she tell me, say, make an open gate for you, fine. But your mama sing, go handedly tell me, say, as for this moment, now prison, now you day. Make you no pass, go anywhere. Oh, so you're indirectly denying me of my human rights, right? What right do you have to lock me up in this place? But open this gate. Oh, look me where. I not be your mate, oh. Before I get by, they never born you. Who tell you say you don't reach you, man? Mr. Williams. Eh? Mr. Williams. Shut up your mouth at the talk. You don't do, do like this. Now, yesterday night, you drank banjo. Oh. What do you do like this? You don't do oh. like this. Say, open, open, oh. open which gate. You want to see the worst side of me, right? Which, which, which side? Oh. You don't grow finish. Oh, okay. Compass. Okay. Compass. No, it's fine. They, they speak, who you they speak English for? Hey. Say, make her open this gate. Oh. You are pissing you off. Now, today, we they see shit. I now know your problem, Mr. Williams. Now I know your problem. Mr. Williams, open this gate. I'm asking you peacefully. Open this gate. What part here? What did they happen for you? If they come here, they call shouts where you need to borrow like 10 people's voice and join your own. Not be your present that they were in Mama Semi cannot open door for this picking make it come up for you. Yes. And she come here, they follow me. She not get respect. She they tell me to make an open gate for her, make she go collect notes for her cosmetics, please. You see, Imagine. you see, now no, notes. Eh, eh open, open gate, make you go collect. Eh. You know, be small pick. You know, say the mama they offer protector. Eh, you say you won't go collect something for school, school, school matters. You open gate for her. Oh, make an open gate, make she go collect. So. Now, now, I feel saying that the injection they give you for hospital now cause this thing. So now, collect why they collect and make this your left you leg. Must, you want to be very stupid. Eh? So you want to collect. You must be very stupid, Mr. Williams. You see, huh? You want to go you collect. You must be very, what is, what is this? What, 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 what's this? Now, the person where they now, go collect now, is listen, stupid. I don't care what the two of you are insinuating. I have a test tomorrow and I need to be in that place to get my materials for my test. Oh, oh, please, please, let me go and meet please. my friend. Eh? Really? Eh? If you know go collect this thing, he fail from school. Now you the mama could still blame you. So if I make you go correct with you, won't correct. No, if I slap blame. you, all this trash mark where your body go come out. If mama go pass that BD material, please. How many material you want buy? Now cheese or being a cement. If na POP cement, your mama go buy all of them. Come, you go do your test for you. You want, you want go correct. Mr. William, I have respected you enough. I have respected you enough. You will open this gate this instant. Two plus two, seven. Now wait. Mr. Williams, open this gate. Eh? Now three. <laughs> I see this. Mr. Williams, open this gate. Come, if you open this gate, I will not open If you touch no. me, if you touch me, tell me, my mother will come back here. You will press her. If you touch me, <laughs> no, leave me. The blessing at this thing, they catch you. <laughs> if you touch me. I like the fact that you do your cruising alone without a driver. I forgot that Keep point. your head straight. Don't even try to turn your neck. What is the meaning of this? Eh? I'm, I'm tired of this whole thing. What exactly do you want from me? I told you to stay away from the police. Yet you weren't opening your wide mouth. Well, um, the commissioner of police is my family friend. 
And my wife complained to him about the which withdrawal. Then he asked me, and I owned up. Own up to what exactly? What do you think you could own up? Don't make me kill you. Please don't kill me, please. I beg you, don't kill me, please. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyways, James is my boss's friend. I've told him to stay off the case and trust me, he will. Don't worry about your wife. He knows how to do his job. You mean you've taken care of him? He's a puppet to my boss. I've taken care of him. Even though my boss doesn't know about this. Be warned. I I'm sorry. Uh, it won't happen again. I'm sorry. Please. Don't kill me. Lifestyle is dangerous. Uh, where is your conscience? Yeah. The body of a woman, a strange woman, was tumbled up in the shallow grave of the farmland along with one of the inhabitants of the coast. You have an idea. Boss, what do you mean if I have an idea? Exactly what you heard. I I don't know what you're talking about. I, I honestly I I don't know anything about this. I'm clean. <laughs> if I find out you have a hand in any of this, I'll kill you. Boy, doctor. Boss, I've worked for you all these years, yet you don't trust me. You don't trust boy, doctor. You don't know what I can do. I didn't say that. But you know, in this jungle, trust is not a guarantee. Boss, honestly, I don't have hand in it. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about any shallow grave or the body of any woman. I'm serious. That's fine. Drink up. Oh. Drink. One day you can go back for ya. So be careful. Be mindful. So be careful. Be careful. One day you can go back for ya. So be careful. Be mindful. Oh my goodness, God. thanks for the reminder. You know, I almost forgot. I knew you were going to forget. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, you know, I was wondering, could we get something else for him apart from the wristwatch? What do you think? Um... You know, I don't even have a boyfriend. I'm not even in a relationship. I'm not even married. Mm -hmm. So I don't know all those things. You should be the one that should okay, tell wait, me. Let me educate you. Okay. You're lucky you have a married woman as a friend. Okay. So I will tell you this for free. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know men love expensive resources and cars, but you can't get to my car at the moment. Yeah. Talking about a car, you know, it would actually make a whole lot of sense. This guy doesn't have a car. Getting him one will be a dream come true for him. Sharon. What? Getting him a car will make him slack. Make him slack? How? <laughs> Remember you almost made us lose this guy. Thank God your first time brought him back. Uh, that's why I'm the boss. I see further than you. Oh, can we get the resource? We are here already. Let's get the resource. Fine, Later we talk about the car. Go.
trying to look for a cab. For a cab? You didn't come to cut you? No, my friend's other car got spoiled, so he has to use the one I, I normally come with. Oh, I see. And you're trying to book a boat to drop you. Just hoping for the car will drop you on my way. No, don't bother yourself. I don't want to inconvenience you. I never said you were inconveniencing me. You don't even see your car to me. I'm just hoping for the car. Okay, I'll... You, you're about driving yourself. What of, what of your driver? That is competent fool. I don't know it's very bad. Let's just go. Okay. Thank you. My mom still hasn't told me who that man is. Who is that? Josh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Who is that man where your mama say make you forget about? That's all she said about him. That I should forget him. That he's a terrible past that must be forgotten. That he's a play, the one given the opportunity to strike. That doesn't even make any sense. It's a play. Anyone, Michelle, but. You know your mama. If you just try to throw some money, this woman, you know what you mean. You know, if you say this come to make you just sleep I'm like that. You know, say your mama na no nonsense case no. Meaning? Eh, meaning that guy could run do him something very, very bad in the bus. You understand me now? Mm, I make you could run spoil something to come that guy. I make you say make you move on. What could that man have possibly done to my mom to make her hate him so much? Or could it be that everybody in this house enjoys taking my mother's side? Or is it because she bullies you? Buri! Hey, 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 like, you, you carry any rock in here because I never see any rock for his compass since I did walk here. Yes, because Buri na rock. But forget Buri. See your mama so good. Tell me why he say make you wait for that man. You understand? And if you always you know say your mama, if you say no do something, you call one. Now a problem, no. a problem with that. No, I'm not for your life make you all the play. Hmm? So listen, anything you say no do, no do. Eh, because now you supposed to protect you, no be you to the protect them. Now you be, now you be make them behave like that. Hey, Kaisi, don't you think I'm old enough to ingest some of these things? Old? Eh, if you don't grow, grow old, but you grow past your age. You all say, you know, they grow like the broiler. You all say, they like the fowl in the lung. Hey, Kaisi, what's the meaning of that? Ah, it's my mara. <laughs> it's a new day. You they follow you, they play. Now, play, you're insulting me. I <laughs> think it's all you leave up. I did not fix it. Yeah. <laughs> now, your discussion with me and me. See, you've forgotten your place in this house. I could take forget my place. Not be my uniform business. I don't have to fix it. Now, your speech. Could that man be my father? Ma? Your speech. For Peter. I okay. Ah, you are living dangerous life. Yeah. Putting yourself at risk. This lifestyle is dangerous. So tell me, what's all this? Something terrible just happened a few hours ago. So, how then did they gain access to the bodies? They raided the lab where the autopsy was supposed to happen. Two doctors. And three nurses were killed in the process. Unbelievable. This is terrible. This is terrible. This is a great trick to the Greek. Yes. 
do you have any idea who could have done this? Uh, you are living dangerous life. Yeah. Putting yourself at risk. This lifestyle is dangerous. Uh, where is your conscience? Yeah. Josh and I go talk if you want to. Life is at risk. Uh, I know. Did he leave any room for possibility that he might be thinking that I did it? I couldn't detect while we spoke, so no. Better. Come on, man. Uju was your girlfriend. Why did you have to kill her? I just had to do what I had to do, bro. I couldn't just trust her any longer. Plus, she knew too much to be alive. Come on. Don't you think so? Come on, man. You said it yourself. That she was part of the deal. At least that, that alone should have inflamed some, some fiber in you to trust her. You know she loved you, right? Yet you killed her. Come on. I feel so bad and you retired that I have to cover up for you. Now listen and listen, dude. I've given you enough money. Enough money to kill every feeling that you might be having. Don't tell me nonsense. You think this is all about the money? What about my conscience? <laughs> your conscience? You no longer have it. I bought your conscience with the money I gave you. Uh, you are living dangerous life. <laughs> yeah. Putting yourself at risk. Do your conscience. What do you know? This lifestyle is dangerous. Uh, where is your conscience? Yeah. Your life is at risk. You can't hide your sins. You can't hide your sure. sins. How did you find me? I just want to understand something. Why are you stalking me? This is not fair, Sharon. This is not fair. This is not fair? Who the hell do you think you are, you bastard? A coward like you lives my life only for you to come back and tell me what is fair and what is not fair? Are you serious right now? You got me pregnant at the age of 15 and all you could do was just to abscond. You went on an exile, leaving all the responsibilities to me. Listen, Sharon. I, I, I didn't know how to face you because you wouldn't understand and I wasn't ready. That's why you're a coward. A bastard like you. That is what you are. Look at you. You should be ashamed of yourself. What did you come back to actually do? To come into my life just like that? Was that what you were thinking? I'm sorry. I didn't know you were pregnant. <laughs> oh yes, I was pregnant. But the only thing that was in your head was for you to go on an exile. And abandon me, right? Look, I have killed. Of course I know you killed Otomba. I can show you. You murdered him in cold blood. I know about that. But I want you to do something for me. Stay away from my daughter and I. Else, you will have me to contempt. But she's also my daughter. She's not your daughter, you hooligan. Look at you, Nikampo. You actually think my daughter is your daughter? You think destiny is yours? Well, I'm sorry to bust your bubble. The father died in a heart attack. You are not her father. Wait, slow down, Sharon. Is this about Otumba? Or is this about you not giving me access to my daughter? What? Well, if you are not comfortable with the fact that I just told you that this city is not your daughter, you can come with me and do some paternity tests. A DNA test will prove everything, right? Oh, Sharon, Sharon, Sharon. Come on, you and I know you are influential. You are so connected that you can pay the whole doctors in this country to turn the DNA around. So come on, spare me that space of going for a DNA test. Just stay the hell away from my daughter and I. I won't warn you again. Sharon. Sharon. <sighs> Sharon. 
Ah. What's up, babes? Tell her you know that was very risky. What was very risky? Everything. First, lying to him about his daughter and also threatening to uncover him. You know his parents are also very connected, like you told me they oh, used to be. Oh, please. Which parents? His parents are long dead. Josh only has a stepmother who hates him so much. At this point of my life, I could throw that hit just to the prisons and tear him to shreds and bits. So you're being unforgiving. I am not being unforgiving. This guy made me hate men. I have this memory of him that can never wipe out from my head. As a matter of fact, I just want to get my own pound of flesh. I just feel like sucking Josh's blood. Sharon! Listen, you're beginning to scare me. How? Does it look like I care? All I just want is to have my pound of flesh. And that is by sucking Josh's blood. I feel like sucking everything from him. Look, at this point, I think you should calm down. Just forgive this guy and free yourself from this psychological and emotional shaggy. I do not want to be free. I want to have my own pound of flesh. I want Josh dead. Sharon! Ah, uh, you are living dangerous life. Yeah. Putting yourself... Josh, I came to see you. Is that why you cannot even get yourself a seat to sit down? How did I get myself in this sort of mess? Why are you here? This is my house. My house. A house? Josh, what happened to your father's mansion? Why would you choose to be useless to yourself? You don't talk to me in that manner. If you are my girl, where I stay, you stay. Do you understand? I said, do you understand? <sighs> you know I love you. I don't belong there. I belong here. But that is your father's house, not here. You won't understand. My father chose that witch over me. I will soon kill her. Um, Josh, I heard you killed your best friend, Lucky Wonder. How could you? Josh, how could you? You can hide your sins. It's written all over, all over you. You can hide your sins. It's written all over you, all over you. Josh, how could you even leave now? You could even wait for me you to tell you. I am carrying your child. I thought it was only you I had left. Since everyone else abandoned me. Josh, how could you leave now? How? No one knows it all. Josh, Josh. Don't think you are fast. Where is Josh? I was looking for him before you came in. I don't know where he is. Please, do not lie to us. I said, 
Where is Josh? I don't know where he is. I was looking for him. Search the house. Fast. Check, 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 check. Did you see him? No. I do not like to I don't, know where, Josh. I don't know where he is. I was actually looking for him before you came in. I don't know where he is. To the station? Sir, I'm just 15 years and, and it's a crime to, to take an underage to the to the cell. Do not teach us our job. When you get there, you explain yourself. Move. Move. So you mean he left without knowing you were going to have a baby for him? Huh. But why didn't you tell him that night that you were pregnant? He was too drunk. As a matter of fact, I am sure he wouldn't have told me all the things he told me if he wasn't drunk that night. How were you able to go through the trauma all by yourself? Mm -hmm. You know, from the moment I walked into that room, I knew I had made the greatest mistake of my life. But I held on to the power of hope. I knew one day if I could walk out of it, I knew one day if I could walk out of that place, that I would become a great woman. So I never for once had any thoughts of taking my own life. Think uh, this thing is coming so positive over this matter. Eh? Only force him, like say the force him, mama make you for tell her what him, mama no want tell her. Eh? To me, that thing no make sense. Oh, eh? can't be like say you won't force him, mama na make tell her what him, mama no want tell her. You get that CB. See, you see this whole thing, so. Hmm? Hmm? Do you see that girl believe in me well well? Hmm? Because you know. Yes. Believe in you? Yes, ma'am. That's what you're talking about. That girl believe in me. No, he believe in you. Yes. So now, now you won't go tell the girl what if mama consider a bad information I do? Now you won't go tell the girl the truth now. Nah. Okay, then. I said, look you now, eh? My mind the tell me say, now you won't go tell this girl what is she want know. But ma, I tell you, if this whole thing blows up, if this thing cast, a kai thing, ma, I know the, you go use her head, carry the baby. No, no. Eh? You know, say this small people this me so. Now, very, very small, young, small girl, 
only had one snack, one day, you will know the truth. Yes, because I don't see him. He moves small, small. I begin smarter. One day, you go your school or cover the truth. You come out. And mean so, I believe. Okay, then. You see this your mouth, they don't talk about it. Okay, then you do your mouth like this. Bam. Right to the shot your mouth. You saw this rubbish way they talk. And you might have no day. But what I want to say now is say, continue until you land yourself into Madame Trouble. Yeah? Don't holla. I don't say I say you don't reach time where you go enter your office because me and you don't talk finish. I don't want to enter Madame Trouble. I beg. I don't follow you the gossip. So, the wrong they call me cousin. And then inside that prison, you call me, come stand No problem. I'm not going to call you again because I don't want to end up trouble. Hey, can you take? They go. We don't uh, finish. No uh, effort they touch me. Which finger? No effort touch me. Ah. You want to see my clothes? Hey, can you take? No, my is it black they call my hand Chaco? Eh? Instead of you to be happy, say, I they touch you. Find like me, they touch you. You just they talk rubbish. Anyway, I don't blame you. I'm going to carry my hand, go touch you. Idiot. Gossip. Oh, they go say, nah. I don't like to talk to you. Ghost fire. Don't be me. You, I beg. If you reach that kill inside, eh, just carry the matter. Kill yourself. No, just involve me for anything. Kill you, no. You, you don't take your eyes. See, yes, destiny. Destiny. Yes, now. How is she there has now? Wishes. That picking no day this house. You know, get away. I never say some, say some, say some. If you, you know, I see just the day so like CD play. You know, waiting the CD play. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. I don't check them even under chairs. I check them bathroom, toilet. I know, see them. Now that picking one put me for trouble. Because I, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I am them game for Trouble. Trouble. I know they had that one way to talk, but you talk, say you don't search for the game for the whole house. This thing where they tell you, even, even for carpet. Eh. Okay. As you don't search for her everywhere, you know, see her. You don't search your pot of soup. Me too, Sally. Sally, why you know the if I day serious with your life? Yeah. What yes. do I do? Now you don't say you don't search everywhere, search even for carpet. I suggest say at least, as it's more like beans. If you don't inside your pot of soup. Why you know the if I day serious? Eh? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Think we go come do now. Yeah. Me and you now. We think we go come do because this 
ki skill skill yi we la say the grace me and you what thing we who be we she be na you the encourage ya eh she be na you be her manager when you do outside the talk that time i come to you say the thing where you don't the way you encourage this girl now me don't see am na me you won't come for trouble you won't come tell me say what thing we if i had that we for your mouth again i go what are you we <laughs> sorry wait wait eh charlie no be sale sorry hi mm. uh, you see why I, I, i call you so in so that we go furious for our eight together now no waiting we won't do because uh, i refine this scale yes me and you put two together yes yes no, as waiting no, i i beg you in the name of god uh, yes. if i say me we join body together me we put body together you know they agree Now to put head together and I go agree. If you call me again, thunder go fire you. Forget them because you see this your head so you are mad person you know. Good. That no say you no say the mad. You lay my any she lay she and your girl mad. I do act like I na born on so bad because he share the game mad. Me wor wor character. I beg you go look for this thing. No man no yari they shout chali chali chali. You know they even say they call the chali na yari yari yari. Go now. Go. I go save him. The next. You just want kill me, oh? Yeah. Yes, Kimi. This is a young wood. It's not me. It's not. It can never, can never be me. Can never kill me. Which kind of question you ask yourself, eh? Madam, now you tell me, say, make I know allow this person to come out from here. And she specifically give me discussion. The instruction say, uh, uh, William, no allow this girl come out for this compound. I say, Madam Fuen. I say, Madam Fuen. He said, no allow this person come out for this compound. Now make a call invent this price. Anybody where want come out, whether you they go mess or you they go shit or you they go buy something, I go record them. When Madam want come out, I record them. 7:50 a.m. You too, I record them. You know say be Madam Shadow. I record them 7:50 a.m. You can't come back. 10:30 a.m. Show me where where I will record in there yet. No be she want illega illega come out him. Wait. I hope say no be this your cock and bull story now where they tell me now you want go tell madam. Eh? See, better start now they look for tangible story where you go tell madam if you come back. Or better still pray say madam no go notice. By the time where she go come back. Eh? If not. <laughs> Will you will you? you know now you know who madam be or my advice now be say as you then now you get pen and paper just kuku write by yourself now just write your resignation letter go by yourself walk inside there drop up for madam or you still post and go inside your room hmm? because you know how far now see you don't tell when i'm not saying you'll be better person make me will and write the resignation letter come up for this place I don't talk and say na here I go dey make money buy land build house marry wife cause he get side chick make me write the donation letter I don't think they jealous me may you remember me to your life say amen na here you go dey you get man marry yes become governor become commissioner yes and the thing they they jealous you because you no know, get uniform the only you every time now you dey drive 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 they come out nobody they respect you but this me mistake wear this my uniform go front now for that traffic you go see say motor go dey stand all of them go want all their tire they go see I be one of all those people where they where they see people tire if they if they blow past this thing my uniform get respect but wait you as you intelligent reach like this now what you dey do when make that girl walk come out for it you go talk to people just now so I don't even know what you are doing, sir. I don't know how she keep up. Eh, uh, as you know, know what you will do when it takes pass. I would, my own advice is say, just to go use your pen, add them for your resignation paper. Say, I don't know what I will do when she pass. Hmm? You understand what I mean? I don't mean I don't tell you when I'm not saying you're jealous. You're jealous, my friend. Yes, I know. You're not because you get uniform. This work as you see me the real uniform two rank star you just get <laughs> jealous my problem so why am I not good if I go write send me to write a signature letter the right and illegal for what thing what do I do okay okay I will wash I will spoil him ha baby sweet sweet
Hello, madam. Eh, madam. Madam, I beg ma. Eh, I beg ma. There is problem. Which problem? Which problem you talk to? No, let me let me tell and say me she come out for this company. Eh? Oh, you think I be a kite where they where they allow and they leave that fire fire area there that light? <coughs> so wait. You won't shift the blame now. Go a kite. Go, go give a kite. Eh? Wait. You won't shift the blame now. Go give that innocent girl. If say you, they mind your duty post very well, like you claim to be an intelligent get man. If say they do your work well, you no go know when that girl come up for this gate. Now you don't shit and go another person inside. See, man, tell you. Better start the look for what you go do now. Because if madame come back, anyway. What do you do with the talk self? Eh? No, me and you now, man. What do you do? How you deal with the talk self? Hey, the world way they talk, I they, I they do for your for your for your go go tab, you know the speaker, your go go tab. No, go go tab, where they bury Jesus. Ah. Or your your sofanus. No, all of them now for your mouth. See what they tell you. Come on, I'm not involving me again for this matter. I don't tire. Anyway, when Madam confessed, as you don't know what you're supposed to do, that one concern you. Now see, that one not just concern me. You see this two where they happen, so all of us will drink the wine for a second one cup. Cup. Cup of organ. See, Ma tell you, you see that cup? Whether cup of poison, cup of uh, coffee, cup of tea, or cup of anything, even blood, anything when Madame pour for that cup. Oh, share them. If you give your girlfriend, don't consign me. What do you consign me? Consign it. Any solution? Yeah? Yes. Hi, I'm saying one thing. I don't die. Uh, I don't suffer. Wait, no problem. If you want to die, wait first. Ma, I'll give you the solution where you're at. The solution now be say, as it be say, is the listen I be, as it be say, the girl never come back. Solution be say, make you follow your boyfriend, come out, go look for the girl. I'm the only solution. Uh, 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 uh. Make I warn you. No ever open this your mouth. Talk say this man, not my boyfriend. <laughs> hey, you hear him? No wait, no wait. I been not want to talk for this on a matter. Before. You see, your life even don't reject you. Help reject you. Wait, 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 wait. Come, you. What did they do you? So, for instance, Nancy, they can't carry me. Dash you. You know, go up. You know, nothing at test. You know, nothing at test. You hear them? Um, I beg, leave this. No, no, no. What color be you? Come, oh, they go inside. I'm not saying that I mean you like. You don't like these idiots. You see your life? I want those. I want those. See, see, hey, wait. Bro. You, you know, you, now you see the way you the water. Your stretch mark where start for your waist, reach your leg. Hey, Akua, I don't suffer. Not be on a fault. Not be on a fault at all. I don't know, say this uniform I wear, so I still use a waka go airport. They go, I be the pilot, I go fly plane. I just we crash for air. This kind of guy say, which kind, which kind of wall are this kind of guy put first in? Eh? Picking no go reach age before you go start to be come up for this kind of place. And why are you still standing? How dare you flaunt my instruction? Yeah. Madam, I thought the punishment was for uh, Willie and uh, Kaite. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Is something you? wrong with you? No, ma. What do you do? Who the hell do you think you are, Barack Obama? Can you listen to me, three of you? I want you to go out there, search for my daughter, and bring her back home. Do I make myself clear? Yeah. Madam, small problem, though, just small problem. The thing be say, I, I don't know where to start from. You don't know where to start from? Mm -hmm. Start from reconnecting your dumb score, your diploma, and your intellectual routines. I ain't working anymore. Your IQ needs to be fixed. No, madam, since you employ me, I know they work out for her. I know, I know they go IQ for her. Shut your trap! Madam, that one, I'm not to Mona not just provoke me. Mona not just see Mona not just provoke. Wait on a two minutes. Eh? What did they where would they come this house? I'll be on a bodyguard. Eh? You they, you, on a, they put all the blame for me. So the thing that my fault now said the picky waka come on for the house. Agree so. <laughs> Agree so. Waiting no can be your fault for this matter. Eh? 
when madame carry that picking, say make you look and make you know ever come out for this kid. I, I I just thank God say I never open my mouth to tell you say I like you. You know, see since at the first say you find out, madam open my eye this this afternoon tell me say you be very ugly person. Not only your face ugly, even your brain and your tongue everywhere ugly. Like eh? So I go I go tie the picking leg. I like him like that. I know. Why you not like, go tie a leg? Why you not go tie a leg? I should say now sleep you they sleep or you they smoke you go. When that girl will come up for this gate, you know see him. Come here now, come they talk rubbish. Eh? See if you know what is good for you, eh? Just arrange yourself now. Package yourself. Come out as I go begin the look for that girl because I don't go follow now. Go through any punishment again when Madam go give you. This slap where slap me. If that one don't do. The next, yes, one. One. The next one, the next one, wait, 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 so because of saying the girl opportunity to the enter on that hotel video, the driver go, driver come. I come the they use my church mind, they record you going and you're coming. So people are gonna record they are going, they go die for road. They all are they go going and coming. So if they see yourself now as Madame Osman, Abby. No, yes, as Madame yes. Osman. Okay, ma. If I made there, they talk rubbish. Okay. Since where they saw this this uniform will be like I mean they second this week. First of all, they hear for you again. I don't want to go through this any punishment again, no. Oh. The slap when Madame give me there, I don't do. But I know I'll be blue. I'm gonna go look for the girl, no. See my better cheek now. When we, one side don't pass one side. The next time now, this side. Now you go pass, organize your own, play big. That's it. One more. Now you listen to me. By the time I come back to this house and my daughter is not yet here, you all are not just going to be dead. I'm going to roast you like a roasted salt. Okay, okay madam. Yeah, ma'am. Prepare yourself for hot pepper soup. You and your, you know, una know una self. See ya. If you like, right. If you like, all right. What are they telling us? Say, if you not know how to take a lot that girl come up for this girl, more than two of you now go, go, go find that girl. Nobody should call my name. I can answer you every time, but I know that resource is not going to work. And the sun, I will look now. This is sometime we did like three, three, six, ten. Waiting will come do now. Eh? Answer me now. You say? Waiting will come do now. See, me and you don't break up. I mean, they like you secretly before. Make ugly, ugliness. See, and they talk, they talk. Eh? When I don't say for this full place, now me get respect first. I like you. What you talk? Talk come again. Eh? Oh, you want to use your, your language? If you say, if you not come for language, Abby. Eh? On the other, or where? Eh, who? Eh, mama. Oh, my boy. Oh, my yaga, yaga. If it's another language. Okay, now language by language now, Abby. You don't read. Where is my daughter? Sure, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I am asking you a question and you're not giving me the right answers to my question. Where the hell did you keep my daughter? Listen, uh, firstly, I don't know what you're talking about. And second of all, you say she's not my daughter. So why the hell would you walk in my crib with your two filthy legs and asking me where your daughter is? You think I'm here to play some hanky-panky games with you, right? I'm giving you 24 hours to prove that my daughter else. You would be seeing me in a very rugged way that you've never seen me in before. Sharon, you don't walk into my crib and tell me or yell at me and raise your voice at me. The next time you do this, I will deal with you and you'll never remember yourself again. Really? Yes. What are you waiting for? You must actually think this is Sharon of yesterday, right? Oh. Try me and I will share you to shreds. Provide my daughter. <laughs> wow. 
Wait a second. Is she missing? What's going on? Is it Grace? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Now me, you they insult. Now me, they follow the talk like that. Now me, they follow the talk. Wait. Because I mean, you they some some madam that make you get delivered. They talk to me anyhow. That you know where I come from. Where you come from? Tibo Wonder. Hey, Wonder. Men of Bensi. Mo amana nambo mo ju. That Wonder mo aki mo aki de tiraro. We can't go into Nena. Okay. Okay. Wonder. 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 Mo 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 no, Charlie, for real life, you touch my thinking. You, you carry and touch my thinking. Leave that, leave that. Eh? I never even touch you, your thinking. Oh, why you why you disappear? Disappear man, not they see you now. Disappear. Hey, kind of, ah! You touch my thinking. Wait, 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 wait. Ah. You see what you do, kind of? Oh. So, you know, you don't say so. Okay, go ahead and go. Ah, one that is strange. You mean she didn't tell you she was leaving? No, oh, she just left. So, so why are you? Yeah, my server and Emmanuel just closed for the day. I was about dropping him off before you called. Alright, okay. What is it? My daughter is nowhere to be found. What? Destiny, where are you? Do you want to kill your mom? She's having a high blood pressure because of you. before leaving my house and you had to turn it into a resting place believe what exactly i know you know if you know say na so weary wicked he just break bottle he won't sorry fan he won't be on top of my breast make a issue will you cut her from this place are you crazy are you nuts now where is destiny Hmm? Madam, they ask you now. Yeah. You never come back. And you? Hmm? Where is Destiny? Uh, Madam, that time where you told him to go look for Destiny. Uh, now, they, now Destiny, they prepared to go look for. Before Wuli Wuli come carry bottle, come they chase us, they pursue us, they go around like say they would do answers. When I tell you that you are incompetent, 
I mean every single word. Thank you, madam. You are nothing but an incompetent idiot. Video. Oh. Okay. Now go and get me destiny. Go and get destiny for me. No, I just know. Madam, yeah. you never come. I said you should go okay. get destiny. Okay, madam. Go and get. And go and treat yourself. Why are you so idiot? I said you should go and treat yourself. Eh, uh, madam, no problem. Uh, but you hear what I want to get out of my sight. Madam, get out of my sight. I know. I know the money. If I do this, what will you give me? I use my hand to get out of it. You know they go scot free. Now come they look around and they look around, no see cut last. And I know say you know get guns. Now I just see one bottle. As I see bottle like that, now I just say, now you dash and swim on me. No, say, no, madam, because where were you when destiny went out? Went out. I asked you a question. Where, where were you when destiny went out? Madam, she went out. Oh. Yet you knew nothing about it. No, madam, I'm not gonna feel like to you now. Destiny never come back home. Oh. She she went out and she no record, madam. I even say I go report to you. Now illegal come out Now so you go send that go abroad. Now so they go repatriate him because he he go leave the place that they pass center play go past the engine. Now in illegal come out in. You shut up your trap. The next time this repeats itself again, you will have me to contend with. Try make myself play. Yes, madam. You stay full. Sorry, madam. Madam, your head enter your mouth. You think I have time for this or nonsense? Just try it again. I go slap me go through the door. I don't first tell us I I know the quick verse. But first I I do things. I first quiet. I first dash me one slap. I see they look again. Tell me another slap. You know they slap me. They go through. At least that mark when I give an eye. You know say I be respected citizen. Where were you? Mom, relax. I can explain. I should relax, you can explain. So you now reply me as we are age mates. Mom, I need to get something. How many times have I told you not to leave this gate without my knowledge or my consent? I'm only trying to make you understand that I'm grown. I'm no longer a child. You're no longer a child. Are you crazy? Mom! What is wrong with you? Now you sneak out of the house to talk to strangers? Oh, Josh. So this is about that man, Mom. How can you assume such despicable things about me? Now go ahead. I can see that 15 has suddenly turned to 55, right? You're now grown. Now go ahead, challenge me. Mom! I will go out there every day of my life. I will see teenagers and boys and girls of my age fucking up. But I can't do the same because of your youthful past. Don't you ever talk to me in that tone again. Don't you ever try that nonsense again. I swore to myself that I would never disappoint you. No matter how bad you assume of me, no matter the things you say of me, no matter how overprotective you are to me, I will maintain my vow. I will hold my head up high and I will make you proud. <laughs> I have told you several again. Stop bothering yourself. She is my daughter and I can handle her very well. <sighs> yes, ma. I have heard you. Noted. Why is Destiny not here? Ikaite. Ikaite. Mara. 
Why is Destiny not having a new approach? Madam, she she says she's not hungry. She's not hungry. Yes, madam. Come and call her for me. Okay. Okay, madam. You can be Destiny, I beg now. If you don't eat your food, I go take for trouble with your mama, I beg. You can eat the food if you want. I said I'm not hungry. Eh? Yeah? Oh God, is this, is this so hard for you to understand? Yes. I, tell, I said I'm not hungry. Go and eat the food with my mother. I am not hungry. Yes, Tina, I beg. I beg, I beg. Yes, where she? She no three follow me, come out too. You see, you know, far you no know, one drop food. And you could not convince her. Madam, I try. You know, you also want to come out. You tried. There's nothing try. There's nothing good about you. Thank you, madam. You are so useless. Thank you, madam. You are nothing but a frustrated satellite. Thank you, madam. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm fine. I hope all is well. Is this still about the issue, issue concerning her father? Um, you know, Kimi confided in me. She was right when she said she should make this with the man and also allow her to. Ma, but we're family now. You always say that. Ma, if you are serious about what you said, that we are family now, then it shouldn't matter who said that or not. I mean, it's not supposed to be the issue now. What's supposed to be the issue now is that... Uh, um, you know, my dear. Refusing to eat could be considered rebellious. I mean, you don't have to stab yourself to prove a point. That would be inflicting more damages on yourself. I know, darling, you trust me. It's not a problem. I knew it was important for me to record. Okay, Destiny, I'll make you a promise that I will talk to your mom and I guarantee you that everything will be fine. Okay? How do you mean? No, no. She wouldn't do that. I'm part of the family, so there's no way she would do that. All right, you take care of yourself and make sure to you eat your food. All right, bye, my love. Sometimes it's as good as the weather. Everyone wants to be aware of some good friends. Sometimes it's as good as the weather. Everyone wants to be aware of some good friends. Sometimes it's as good as the weather. Sometimes it's as good as the weather. Cha cha. Oh, Ma, I think Kevin should know better than I do in this matter. Because she's a woman. You know, 
your daughter is too, and you are a woman too. Girls talk. Thank you. Good night. My dear, I am really sorry I wasn't able to make it at work today. I've been battling with fever. It's fine. So, any good news for me? Yes, I have good news. Wow. Emmanuel was able to close the federal government deal. We got the endorsement email this afternoon. Wow. <laughs> That guy is incredible, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he does all this. That's a good news. We should celebrate this. Of course we should. And then, uh, any other? Yes, the external auditors were around. What? Can you calm down? They, they, they did what? <laughs> and what did they say? How much did they say we are owing them? They refused to say anything to anybody. They said they would rather come back on Monday when you would be around. Oh my goodness, God, that's a bad news. I don't say anything yet, so relax. <sighs> okay. You know, I've really been worried about destiny. I had to talk to someone and he had to be Emmanuel. Emmanuel? But well, you already spoke with him, didn't you? Uh, yes, I did. I, I needed to talk to someone and I knew you wouldn't mind if that person were Emmanuel. Well, I need to speak with you as well. Considering the fact that you'll be sleeping beside your husband and in a deep sleep, I had to talk to Emmanuel. Okay, speaking about that, um, your daughter called and we spoke at length. Destiny called you? Yeah, she did. And you guys talked about what? Come on, Destiny is free to talk to me about anything. I'm part of this family, remember? Why is she? She locked herself up for the past two days, and since yesterday, she has refused to come out of her room. She did what? Where is she? I, I need to see her. She's in her room. I think I need to go with you. No, no. That's not a good idea. I'll see her first, and then you can talk to her later. Okay? You still have anything or anything? Okay. Is there anything you want to talk to me about? It's okay, me. My mom doesn't trust anything I tell her. My mom hates me. She beats me at the slightest provocation. It's okay, me. I don't feel safe. Come on, sweetheart. You don't have to say that. I believe she expects more from you. Time and again, I've proved myself. I do everything she asks me to. And every time, I end up being the bad guy. I want to leave. I'm tired. Destiny, you want to leave? Where? I don't know. Anywhere. I'd rather go and stay with an outsider than be maltreated in my own home. Come on. It's okay. Huh? Listen, sweetheart. I understand exactly how you feel. But trust me, it hasn't got into this extent. I need you to take my words from me so that everything will be okay. Hmm? But this day, Abadama. Who did she say he is? What man? There's been a man that's been following my mom and I everywhere. Really? Yes. I don't know anything about any man. What did she say the man is? She didn't say anything, only that he's a bad influence and I should never speak to him again. Okay. 
Okay. If she said that, then. Okay. If she said that, I think you should do like she advised. It was not an advice. It was a command. Destiny, it doesn't matter how it may have sounded like. I need you to know that your mom knows better. Maybe the man is really not a positive energy you should ingest, just like she said. TK, I'm really beginning to think you're taking my mom. Oh, so. come on, darling. Why would I do that? Listen, I'm only concerned about your well-being than taking sides with your mom. Come here. Don't worry, okay? Trust me. I'll fix it. Everything will be okay. Hmm? What did she say was a problem? The same thing I talked about the other day. What exactly are you talking about? The daughter feels you're being too hard on her. Listen, you need to start being light-handed with that girl. I need to start being light-handed. Are you kidding me? A girl of that age? Come on, this kid doesn't even deserve a slight hand. That girl challenges my instructions and orders at every provocation, every opportunity she has. Exactly what I talked about the other day. Look, you can't expect a young adult of our age to have the mentality you had in your time. Sometimes you need to cut her some slack. The only time this will culminate is when I don't hear a word from her to that idiot. I'm so remember. I already told you. You you did not? Yo, BD, come in. The door is open. So why are you telling me this? The first day of running on you and your mom. I remembered how good she was to me. Then I reminded myself that if Sharon and I were still together, we'd probably have a kid older than you or about your age. I understand. So, the woman you said you abandoned was my mom. Exactly. And that's why she hates me so much and doesn't want you close to me. I understand. Then, was she cheating on you with my dad? Your mom would never cheat on anybody. She probably would have met your dad after I had left. But hold on a second. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. So, how is your dad? Well, I lost my dad at the age of three. Oh, oh my. I am I am so sorry. I, I didn't mean to remind you of this. It's okay. He's been gone for 12 years now and we've moved on. So do you think my mom will ever forgive you? I don't think she would. After what I did to her. Well, don't you believe people change? Yeah, I do, but, you know, let's hope so. That's just going to change something. Yeah. So you mean you told him the truth? You told him that you were his daughter? Answer my question, I asked your question. Sarah, please, can you calm down? Don't tell me to calm down, you should talk to her. Mommy said he's sorry, please forgive him. He said he was sorry. That's Saron, relax. We can't can talk about this. You better talk to her. Else I'm going to skin your life with my bare hands. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, Destiny. Yes, sir. I need you to tell me the truth. Did you actually see Josh? Yes, I did. Why? Why would you do that to your mom? After everything she told you, you still went ahead to see him? Why does no one ever think about me? Why does everyone in this house suddenly have my mother's best interest at heart? I feel so alone in all of this. You know that is not true. Why would you even see that Babari guy in the first place, let alone spill out the truth to him? Because I needed to know why my mom was being overly careful with him being around me. And you had to inquire from a total stranger. Josh What's he behind you? Josh is not that kind of man. Destiny, you barely know this man. 
And your mom told you everything he did to her. She did so in a way that it favors her past plight. Now listen to me, Destiny. You will never see him again. That's exactly the problem with you millennials. You underestimate the inert power of the Gen Z. This is not about age gap or differences. It is about you not seeing whom your mom does not want you to see. It is called respect. I respect my mom deeply and she knows then that. Then you need to stop seeing Josh. Then she must settle and forgive him. It is not in your place to decide destiny. And besides, you've ruined everything already. Well, I didn't exactly do what I said. Yes. How do you mean? Well, so I needed to find out if Josh was truly my father. So I cajoled him into telling me about his past love life. And I found out he has only been in love once in his life. And he had to abandon the woman he loved by absconding. You made him say that to you? Yes, I did. Did he also tell you why he ran away? He told me he had to. More like a last minute option. That he had to leave a note for the woman he loved and run away. That's exactly what your mom told me. So we put two and two together. Did you suspect you were his daughter? Not even in the slightest bit. I told him I lost my father at the age of three. The same fairy tale my mother used to tell me. So are you planning to tell him? Maybe, with the way my mom is going, I just might. Destiny, you mean after realizing all this, you did not open up to George about what your mom told you? No. I just feel like he's not ready to know my own side of the truth yet. Come here. Smart <laughs> girl. I love you. Thank you. And see, you must never tell my mom what I told you. I promise. Okay. <laughs> What are you doing here? Mom. Mom. Mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ruined all your plans because of my curiosity. Mom, please forgive me. Mom, please look at me. Mom. So, I just want the best for you. And the only thing you can do for me to be happy is to stay away from him. Please. Mom, the only thing that will make me happy is if you forgive him. Josh does not deserve it. Mom, when I was much younger, you told me that everyone deserves forgiveness. Well, that was when I was... That was when I never knew the truth. Everybody learns day by day. So the truth you've learned is held in forgiveness from someone who's hurt you more. Now you are judging me. I'm not judging you. I want to learn. I wish to learn as well. I'm going to tell you a story before I answer that. Sit down. I had to go out of my way to bring you out of the police cell. People should not be made to pay for something they know nothing about. Thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate it, sir. Um, you can now go. Um, but sir, I don't have anywhere to go to. Were you living here before? My stepdad chased me out of the house because of your son, Josh. And he left you and ran away? Well, I don't know where he is, sir. And why are we still attending this fool here? She said she has nowhere to go to. That's not our problem. If you don't, go look for a boyfriend. Now you can join him. But I don't know where he is. That's why you get to look for him. But there's a problem. Problem? Mm -hmm. What problem? I'm pregnant for Josh. <laughs> so you think you can come here and deceive me with fake pregnancy? You go digger. 
I'm not lying, Ma. I'm pregnant. Ah. Um, the only way to prove it is DNA test. Chief, if you don't have anything to say, keep quiet. You must not talk. Um, she will stay here and have the baby. And uh, if proven otherwise, if she's saying the truth, she will stay. But if she's lying, she will go. No, no, she will stay and consume my food, right? What's the meaning of this nonsense? Stay and do what? The life of an unborn baby is at stake. And we are talking about food. That's ridiculous. I see. Uh, I think, uh, Chief, you don't have anything to say, right? Carry your paralyzed self. Eh? Go inside and sleep. Now leave. You weak vegetable. Look at him. Stupid man. Come on, turn this, turn this rubbish. Turn your witcher. Turn, turn, turn. Go in. Look at him. My friend, move. She will stay here. <laughs> what? Hey, you, you still want to stay? No, no you want to stay in my house, house. I'm leaving. Stupid girl. Amanda, go back to your husband. You chose him over me. How could you? How could you allow father to chase me at that odd hour of the night? How could you? Mother, mm. please. Please, I don't want to get angry. Just go. Just go back to your husband. Go. You shall not even know how your father behaved once he's drunk. You call that your wicked husband, my father. If he were to be my father, he would chase me at that old hour of the night. Knowing fully where I have no way to go to. Don't call that man my father. Mother, please. Just go back to your wicked husband with your baby. Please go. Just go. I entered into a watered level that night, so I was rushed to the hospital. At the end, I lost my baby. <laughs> mother, you lost your baby? Oh, mother, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It is not your fault. You have every right to be angry. <laughs> But I promise I will make it up to you. <sighs> for three days now, I have been looking for you since I was discharged from the hospital. You were in the hospital? Yes. They took me to the hospital. It's okay, Cheryl. I have gotten a place for you. Uh, very soon, I will come and pick you out of. Out of this place, okay? Okay, mother. Let me rush home before you start looking for me. Just make sure you take care of yourself. Okay, mother. Good afternoon. I have searched for you everywhere. Can I help you, sir? I have something for you. Um, take this money. I am sure it will sustain you through. Um, take this cell phone. Uh, call Senator Adams. His number is the last number I called today. Tell him I sent you. 
and make sure you leave tomorrow first thing in the morning. Oh, thank you very much, sir. But sir, why are you doing all of this? And why do you want me to run away? It is for your best interest. And you know my wife. So just do as I say, okay? So why did he ask you to leave as soon as possible? Joshua's mother wanted to kill me. He had a hint about it and he told me. And so you left never to return? Senator Adams was a very good man. He was always there for me. He gave me life again. He provided me with everything that I never even asked for. Okay, Mom. What is really your intention about Josh? I am going to make him pay for everything he made I and my mother go through because of you. I think he's truly sorry. I mean, she should uh, forgive him and give him a second chance. <laughs> you know, you gave me a second chance, and I think at some point in life, we all need second chance. <laughs> Josh is an unrepentant criminal. It's not in his nature to repent. Look, I get this old gimmick. There's definitely something mischievous about this old reconciliation stuff. He has an agenda. But I trust Sharon. She will never allow him have his way. And what if there's no agenda anyway? And what if he's truly in love? Uh, I mean, if he's truly sorry for what he did to her. Mm, Emmanuel, you men can never be truly or genuinely sorry. The only time a man is genuinely sorry is when he is in his grief. That's pretty generous. I don't care. George is very, very unpredictable. I can never trust him. Oh, that's, that reminds me. What of uh, her driver? Because she normally drives herself these days. Yeah. He's on ad hoc leave. Um, what is that? Suspension. He's on oh. suspension. Oh. Wow. Okay, thank you so much. I think I have to leave now. You take care. You have a nice day. You too. Bye. Drops you off every single day. I thought she's your boss. Or oh, is she now your personal driver? So, is there anything in my boss uh, dropping me off? <laughs> dropping you off every day. Or is she gradually turning into your Uber driver? <laughs> Man, what are you talking about? <laughs> huh? You don't get what you need to talk or... I they pity all these women when they use ITC fine boys. I mean, I don't say she get eye for you. As per fine boy, we be in a... You know one funny thing? My boss and I are my good friends. Yet she drops you off every day. We always ride together, but 
There's nothing going on. Just that we have something to talk about. Something that cannot be talked about in the office. <laughs> then what's, what are you talking about? What's your problem? Huh? I'm not saying anything. But shall I remember that you have a girlfriend? I don't know what you're talking about. But Kimi is a married woman. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Kemi. Hello. Do I know you? You are Kemi, the wife of Engineer Dennis. You're very correct. And you are? Boy doctor. But you can call me BD for short. I don't take handshakes from strangers. Can I help you? All right. Maybe I should just go straight to the point. Please do. I want 200 million naira from you. Do you want what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you a joker? I don't think this would look like a joke to you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I am having the moment of my life here. So this is it. Cheap blackmail. Who are you again? I just told you who I am. And I'm not joking about it. Then I think you should devise another means because this is too cheap. What's that supposed to mean? Aren't you the one in the picture? Of course, that was me in a photoshopped picture. Oh. You think this is a prank? Oh, come on. You know that was photoshopped. Anybody with a good sight in this universe can see it. Even an animal can detect it. Out of my way. Okay, maybe you should see more photoshopped video shops either. Where you have been screwed by Emmanuel in a hotel room. giving you so bad and you're giving it back to him in a good style <laughs> video shops i don't do video shops where did you get that from do you mean the photoshopped video what do you want and who sent you as for who sent me i sent myself come on you already know what i want be ridiculous. Where do you want me to get that amount of money from? And how am I supposed to know, sweetheart? Yeah, if I know, I would go get it myself without stressing you. And I want you to keep it on a loan. Exactly two days. If you fail, you and your beloved husband will wake up to this. I forgot something. I charge in Naira, but I don't take Nigerian coins. What do you mean by that? fellow broke into the establishment and took the book of the man in front of me. Or did you send out footage bearing my image and I don't want to anyone? Ha, ah, madam. You know me now. I can't do such a thing to you. You know how I respect you. 
I think that video was taken through another means. But who is this person? One useless boy doctor. Boy doctor. Everybody in and out of this state knows boy doctor. He's a hardened criminal and very connected. Some people even think he's fetish. He could be in a place now doing something without anybody knowing or seeing him. Um, if it's boy doctor, I'm afraid this will not really go down well. He's asking for 200 million naira, and I'm giving it to him tonight. 200 million naira. I'm I'm still wondering. I mean, you've not told me what uh, the two hundred million naira you removed from the joint account was for. Why do we have to go over this back and forth? Back and forth. Because I deserve to know what business my wife will do with the whooping storm of 200 million naira. Really? Really? No, then I am asking you. Are we that poor now that you have to yell at me because I used just 200 million naira? To make matter worse, you called 200 million naira just. Just, tell me, just. But you nearly killed me when I removed 500 million naira from the same account for a business venture. Kimmy, for a business venture, Kimmy, are you for real? You know what, Dennis? I'm so not in the mood for all of this. You know what? Kimmy, come back here. I'm talking to you, Kimmy. You are walking out on me. Kimmy, you nearly crucified me because of 500 million from the same account. And now you're walking out. All right. I know what to do. You find your signature on that account and you don't see it again. You're beginning to get on my nerves. Rubbish. Sir, please. I am sorry. I just need you to hear me out. So hear you out. You actually want me to listen to your cock and go stupid story? What the hell do you think you want to come back to my life just like that? So just hear listen me. to me. The next time you have to follow me like this, I will call the police on you to arrest you. And I mean every single word from my mouth. It's me, Sharon. Take your tacky wacky ass out of my sight, idiot. Uh, you 
You are living dangerous life. Yeah. Putting yourself at risk. This lifestyle is dangerous. Uh, where is your conscience? Yeah. Your life is at risk. Uh, You can't hide your sins. You can't hide your sins. It's written all over, all over you. Mm. You can't hide your sins. It's written all over you, all over you. You can be strong, but you are not the strongest. You can be smart, yeah. you are not the smartest. Yeah, cause no one knows it all. No one knows it all. <laughs> Yes, hello. What's the meaning of this? I don't understand. What's bringing this one? Ma, I am so sorry, but... That's what I've been meaning to tell you. Okay? I... I don't even know how to ship them out. Or when and how to say it. I love you. I love you. Excuse me? No, no, you listen to me. I do not want to ever see you anywhere close to my complex or my company again. Do I make myself play? You guys are all the same scumbags, idiots, incompetent fools. I do not want to hear your sorry. Do not call my number again and I don't want to see you anywhere close to my company again. Since you decided to be a spy. And as for the letter, it will be sent to you immediately by tomorrow. My guy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll just get back to you about that. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Bye. What's up, Sharon? What's up with what? You should be in your office working. That's why you're being paid. <laughs> Please don't make me part of your problem. And what is that supposed to mean? Ah, oh, come on, you know I was joking. I take exception to such a stupid joke. <sighs> Sharon, can you chill? Like, Breathe in. Emmanuel is not at work. Did you send him anywhere? I fired him. You did what? I fired him. This is my company. I hire and fire whoever that I want. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Um, so, what other way did you mean to say it to be more painful than it is already? Look, I know the company is yours. We all work for you, so you can hire and fire us anytime you want to. But do not do one thing to me. Don't make me look like an invalid or a cardinal part of your problems. That's not what I meant. 
I'm just pissed off. I'm so pissed. Can you imagine that he just told me that he's in love with me? Now what is wrong with that? What are you saying, Kemi? I didn't mean to say anything. Now that's the part I lie. Okay. I meant to say something. Which is? Listen, Sharon, you are my friend and I will tell you nothing but the truth. This long journey of eight you took into love and affection is beginning to make you too toxic. Look, you're scaring everyone away from you and it is no good. Okay, now you are scared of me as well. Honestly, I am. Come off it. I just feel so frustrated right now. You know I can't love Emmanuel. I can't even fall in love. Yeah. And you know how much I love to eat you whenever you say that. My guy, my guy. Hey, what's up? I'm all right. Where to? I'm going out. Josh and I have some gig to take care of. Josh again? Yeah. I Josh thought we would discuss this. Yeah, we talked about it. But you've lost your job. Thank God I didn't listen to you in the first place. You didn't do what you said you would do. I thought you'd stopped. You thought wrong. Listen, man. Josh might have some shit going on. We all do. No one is perfect. Yeah, no one is perfect. Why are you making excuses to get back into Josh's shitty deals? I'm not making excuses. You got sacked for professing love to your boss whom you're supposed to be afraid of. Very soon you are going to be broke. And what happens to you and I? Hunger strike. Hunger strike. Boy, D, are you the one saying this? Why we were in school, you are the most intelligent. Huh? You came out with first class. So you should look for a good job. I mean, a decent job that, you, that will earn you something. A decent job in this fucked up country. Come on, man. I'm not caught up for all your shit. By the way, the other car is back. You got another car? Three cars. In less than two months. Man, come on. You have to slow down. You just have to slow down. I've always wanted to live a good life. Is that what I'm living now? So why should you ask me to slow down? I'm already on soft. Boy, boy, D, boy, D. Boy, D, calm down. Calm down first. What you're doing now is called flamboyant life. I mean, flamboyant lifestyle. And it's, going, it's not going to yield you anything. Rather, it will attract silly things your way. Maybe the likes of DSS and things you don't expect. So come down and watch the things you do. Okay? You can return to your car. By the way, what's up with your boss and lover? I thought I asked you to call and apologize. I'm not going to do that. I can't apologize for loving someone. Love is not cheap. Mm -hmm. Yet it couldn't buy you the heart of your boss. Instead, it got you sacked. Can you stop? Can you stop reminding me of how I've been laid off? Mm -hmm. Can you stop? How you've been laid off? Come on, man. Use the right word. You've been sacked. You've been sassed. You've out. been sacked. Just, just get You've out. You've been sacked, man. <laughs> I'm very sorry about the way she spoke to you on the phone the other day. 
I think she was actually in a very foul mood. Why is she not the one making the apology? You know Sharon and her egoistic propensities. So she wouldn't apologize for what she did because That's I... That's not the case. I actually made her see reasons why she talked to you on her behalf. <sighs> we do not have any scores to settle. We don't? Oh, we do. We do. I... There's no need explaining. I mean, that's why I asked her to stay with today. Because I wanted us to have this moment for ourselves. I, I am sorry for all you have to go through because of me. Mm. You don't need to apologize. I asked for it in the first place, remember? Thank God my husband is rich. The idiot wanted money. And I gave him money. And yes... Sharon loves you and she wants you. She didn't only ask me to apologize on her behalf, she also asked me to tell you that she loves you. Really? Yes. But I love and want you more. But you're married. So I'm not permitted to fall in love because I am married. Not not that, you know, your husband is this very powerful and influential man, you know. That should not be a problem. Hey. Oh, man. What's up, man? So, what's the excitement? Why are you happy? <laughs> this life, eh? See this life. You see, sometimes it's good to speak up. Imagine that I, I, I held my peace. Uh, and I began to think that I should have me. What has changed? A lot. A lot. A whole lot. You know, she told her friend to tell me that she's in love with me too. From 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 the very first day. I mean, the first day I met her while I was going for the interview. Yet she had to send her friend to do the talking. Anyways, good for you. It's both good and bad news. What do you mean? What do you mean? Help me right. So what do you expect me to do? You want me to chicken out? Just because a lady who has accepted me had a toxic past with your boss? Oh, come on. That's, that's ridiculous. Emmanuel, I'm not asking you to chicken out. I'm simply showing you danger ahead and telling you to avoid it. Isn't that simple? Um, what do you mean? Josh is very, I mean, very, very dangerous. And if he eventually finds out there is a man in Sharon's life, he will come for that man immediately. Don't let yourself be that unfortunate man. And what is he going to do? Stop me from marrying her? Josh will kill you. By the way, you have a girlfriend, Emmanuel. Why don't you stick to what you already have? If you don't stay away from Sharon, Josh will certainly come for you. And when he does, I won't be here. 
And if he eventually sends me after you, of course you know he's my boss. And I won't say no to him. Use your head. You said there is something you want to tell me. Yes, boss. But you can let it pass. No! Say it now. <clears throat> okay. I think I know the guy. Sharon, your ex-girlfriend is saying. What? Are you sure? Do not mess with me, boy doctor. Are you sure of what you're saying? I can never give my boss a wrong information. I'm very sure of that. What's the matter? You've been carrying a long face. My rent is expiring. What have you done about it? Do I look like your boyfriend? Excuse Talk me. Talk to Emmanuel about it. What's that? Is it Emmanuel that I just finished making love to now? No, answer me. Oh, you suddenly remember that you are not my boyfriend, Emmanuel, right? <sighs> hey, don't go for that. What are you doing? Living, of course. My babe, listen, you have to calm down. Or just feel us. I was only joking. Yeah, Emmanuel is broke. He can't do nothing. He doesn't have money. He, he's broke. Don't worry. I'll give you the money. Yeah, I will. But that's by the way. That's the important thing I want to tell you. What is it? Hope is not another round of sex. Who are you? Who is this comeback? Me comeback. You're not even ashamed of yourself. After sleeping with a man with my boyfriend, you still have the guts to talk to me. Are you crazy? What? Is something wrong with you? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? If you near me, I'll beat you be a black. I am going to beat that demon in you. Me, you beat that demon in you. Oh yeah, come and see. I'll just I'll go and bring my mother. I'll pour you! But, shut up! Get out of this shut place. up! What I talking to you? No sense. Wait and see. Oh yes, as long as you continue to show your loyalty, more will come from where that came. But listen, I want you to monitor that dude distracting Sharon. Thank you very much, boss. Oh, come on. I appreciate. Oh, that's okay. Thank you. 
<laughs> I never expected this. Oh, come on. You are my closest man. You are my two IC. You are my best man. Thank you, boss. That's right. Boy, that's daughter will forever remain loyal to you. Oh, don't flatter me. You know I don't <laughs> like flatters. <laughs> I promise to give you every details you need. That's right. Thank you very much. Hey, sweetheart, you called me. Who are you? What is it? I need to say something. What is this? You don't know what this is. What? Say it for yourself. What's this? Well, this is what your unruly girlfriend did. Oh? I just told you your unruly girlfriend. You mean Precious did this? Are you kidding me right now? So you even know about the person that I'm talking about? So tell me, what were you planning to tell me about it? Ah, this is not good. Babe, see, Precious and I broke up a long time ago, okay? She's been wanting me back. As Barack Obama? Babe, don't worry, okay? I am going to handle this. I will handle Precious. I will deal with her, okay? You know what? Just get out of my office. Hey. Get out! Precious and tactical. What? Hmm. Why, why would she do that? I don't know. She even did more than that. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Don't tell me she had a fight in public. The demon possessed animal emptied a bucket of water. What? On Sharon and her friend. Damn! Oh, that's crazy, is she mad? Maybe. So, what's Sharon saying? Like, what's her reaction? She's very mad at me. Man, that's not good. So, what are you gonna do now? Like, what's your plan? I'm planning on going to see her and then um, for the apologies. Are you sure you would want to do that? What if it backfires like the other time? It's better to die trying than never try at all. <laughs> it's funny, right? No, oh, it's crazy. It's really crazy. Um, hello. You're still awake. It's past midnight already. You're supposed to be sleeping. Okay, I was just uh, thinking, you know, just having some thought kind of, so I decided to call you. 
you know, how you were doing. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I was thinking, since today is a, well, a resting day, why don't we just hang out today? I mean, go somewhere and then chill. It's okay. To bed. I like him, no doubt. As for the love, I don't know where that is coming from. Hey, amazing! My friend is finally in love. Is this not great? <laughs> you are crazy. <laughs> but you're in love. It's written all over you. Just stop it, please. <laughs> Kemi, you never cease to amaze me. Mm -hmm. Just relax, please. I don't even, I mean, the way you're sounding. Mm -hmm. You're safe, trust me. But if you're not my friend, I would have experimented this bedroom dexterity a long time ago. You would have done what? What? Do you have a problem Can with me? People? I don't understand. Do you have a problem with people who say the truth? No, I don't. But you should relax. Calm down. I'm calm. So tell me, what's the plan? <laughs> We're supposed to be meeting somewhere private this evening. Oh, wait. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm calm. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> like your hotel? Yeah, your hotel. Hmm. Hey, Imani, you have a girlfriend, bro. Guess you're a CB, bro. Oh, boy. I found out. Huh? What's the problem? Precious and I are done. But she's trying to get you back. Yeah, she's trying to get me back. I'm not trying to get her back. I do not want her. In fact, I am done with Precious. Period. Oh, really? Because of the sudden infatuation between you and your boss. Infatuation, you say? Uh, you are living dangerous life. Yeah. Putting yourself at risk. This lifestyle is dangerous. Uh, where is your conscience? Yeah, your life is at risk. Uh, Who is that? Hi, baby. Hi. You can hide your sin. What's going on? <sighs> so you put this up? Huh? Listen, man, I don't have your hand in it. Wait, isn't she your girlfriend? Was. What? Was. Whatever. The point is that she knows when to meet her boyfriend at home. What? Oh, God. Yeah. I'll have to leave you both. All right? My guy, my guy. Don't use to disrespect me like that. Precious, I told you I do not want to have anything to do with you anymore. I cannot continue doing anything with you. I don't want to have anything to do with a woman who jumps from one bed to the other. You're not supposed to say that to me. You're not supposed to disrespect me. Come on, baby. Please, just go. Just go. Just just go, Precious. Baby, come on. Okay, fine. I'm not going to argue with you. Just give it to me for the last time. 
I won't disturb you. Give you again. what? Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know. Come on, baby. You should understand me. Mm -hmm. what, what are you doing? Precious. Pre pre precious. Precious. Just. Precious. Just. Just go. Precious. Just. Precious, just stay. Just go. Precious, leave. Stop. Oh, oh, oh. Precious. Wow. Mom, you look so stunning. Can't you? Where are you going to? Well, let's just say you have a date with someone. On a what? On a date. Wow. With who? Someone you don't know about. Why do I feel like I know this person? You don't know this person. I might. You don't. I might. <laughs> Listen, just take care of yourself until I'm back, okay? Okay. Mwah. Have a nice day. Have fun. You don't want us showing up on their way out. We need to start going. I've never been a minute late. Give me one minute. Listen, listen, listen to me, okay? First of all, you need to calm down, okay? I'll be there shortly. Just calm down. I'm... I know, I know, I know. Just calm down, okay? I'll be there shortly. Mom, what's going on? Why are you so tense? Is everything okay? What's the matter? Just get out, please. Mom, what's wrong? You can I talk. said get out. Okay. Mom, what's get this? out? Get out! Get out! Okay. okay. about everything that happened in your establishment yesterday is what you have here? All of it. All. Everything, isn't it? Are you sure? But, uh, boy doctor, this is not the first time I'm doing the business with you. Huh? I mean, or don't you trust me anymore? Of course I trust you, but this particular one is very serious. So I don't need any story. You said that already. You said it. I mean, everything is intact. It's intact, okay? All right. I hope you got your balance. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I have it. Thanks. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much too. You know. Yes. Okay, I'll be leaving. Alright. Ah, you are living dangerous life. Yeah. Putting yourself at risk. This lifestyle is dangerous. Uh, where is your conscience? Yeah, your life is at risk. Uh, I thought you were supporting me as at yesterday. What happened? Why the sudden change of mind? In this jungle, we take nobody's side. It is the survival of the fittest. In other words, you double crossed me. No. That would be a bit too harsh. Maybe you would say that I outsmarted you. <laughs> I got your mail which states that who leaves, who dies, and who tells the story. What am I supposed to make out of that? Is that why you are here to reply to my mail? Expecting me to reply to such a mail? Come on, relax. You are here to reply to my mail. Is it that you being too rude? What do you want me to do? The police has been judiciously settled. The guy you met on your way is the general manager of where the incident happened. He gave me all the footage of everything that happened. So you have nothing to fear. I've played my part. It's now your turn to play yours. Can I ask you a question? Why are you tormenting me? And what do you know about tormenting someone? I watched you torment Josh. Even till his death, you denied him forgiveness. I think the table turned. I thought Josh was your boss. You were standing very, I mean, you looked very happy knowing the fact that I killed him. Josh was selfish. I am greedy. He never gave me what was duly mine. Instead, he used it to aggrandize himself. I don't want to talk about this much further. You have exactly three days to reply to your mail. Thank you. You can't hide your sins. You can't hide your sins. It's written all over. All over you. You can't hide your sins. It's written all over you. All over you. I don't know. He just said he's giving me three days to reply then. Reply what exactly? Do you know my problem is that this guy made me to kill Josh and then the next thing he's turning it again. What? But you are not the strongest. You can be smart. Mom. Who did you kill? Uh, my baby, listen, you need to calm don't, down. Don't baby me. I said, who did you kill? And you killed Josh. You killed Josh! You killed my father. Mom. He ran away without knowing he had a child. But I... He left you without knowing he had a child and you still couldn't allow him to know he had a child before killing him! But I thought you already told him. That's what you told KB and I. Told him what? No, she she oh later God. confided in me that she didn't tell him anything. You are joking, right? Oh. And you never told me about it. I'm sorry, she made me. You are sorry? <laughs> she made me promise. Her. What have you done? Do you know what you have done? You have ruined my life. It was an accident. Everyone begged you. Everyone begged you. I begged you. I think Gabby begged you. you. Yeah, you couldn't let him live. You can't have your way. You can't want your tall young woman. Don't you dare talk to me. You are witch. Listen to me. You don't you dare talk to me. Of all the people to kill. You can at least let him know he had a child before killing him. You can at least let me play with him. Destiny. Why did you kill my father? Destiny, that's the key. <laughs> Calm down. Take care of me. Who side are you on? So be careful. Be mindful. Oh. Your mom is sorry. She's already going through a lot as a result of what has happened. And take care of me. I hate my mother. Every day of my life, I regret being born by that 
evil woman. Don't say that, baby. Auntie Kemi, that is the truth. Don't say that. Everything happened too fast. And besides, she did what she did in self-defense. Self-defense, you say? Self-defense. She wasn't the one attacked. It was her lover. Yes. But she couldn't have stood and done nothing. And all she could do was kill my father. Destiny. Auntie Kemi. Don't see it in that light. This is the reality. You're being too hard on your mom, you know? Whenever my mom gets the slightest opportunity in her life, she becomes so hard on everyone. This is my truth. My mother is nothing but a self-centered witch. Auntie Kemi, face it. She killed a man. A man she hid from me all my life. Do you know what it felt like? Not growing up with that father. And I, I get to see him and he dies. Auntie Kemi, please leave my room. Destiny. Auntie Kemi, leave my room. You can't hide your sins. You can't hide mm. your sins. So what did she say? She said nothing. She said nothing. She's really upset. But relax. Everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. Are you kidding me? She is all I've got. I know, but just let her be for now. I'm sure by tomorrow she will come around. By tomorrow? Oh my goodness, God. You can be strong. I just... Where are you going to? I'm leaving this house. We cannot call her beats in the same space anymore. Baby, where are you going to? You can't go out by this time of the night. Take me, I am done. I cannot longer stay in this house anymore. <laughs> Calm down. Okay, it's your Auntie Kenny that is begging you. Just relax. You can't go out there by this time. It's not safe. You're just 15. And see, my mother survived on the streets when she was barely 15. Her blood runs through my veins. I will survive too. Stay back. One more move! Do you have a knife? Yes, I have a knife. Just to... I think I'm beginning to lose it. Hi. So please calm down. Crying will not solve this matter. Let's think of what to do. Please just. I don't even know what to do right now. God. Can you just relax, you kill us? What is it? Boy doctor is sending you videos and pictures. Dogs like you ought to know better than bite more than they can chew. Don't you? Are you crazy? Have you gone nuts? How do you raise your filthy hands on a woman? You are really a mad dog that they claim you are. The reason I won't attack you just yet is because you still have what I want. So if you want to talk, Tell her to wait outside. What do you want? Please. Now tell me, what the hell do you want? Josh was the most greedy person on earth. I worked for him day and night. I killed and destroyed people, even close relatives because of Josh. Yet he cheated me and made me feel like it doesn't matter how I felt. So, I had to use everything and everyone against him, especially you. Emmanuel had sex with Precious the day he came to see you. I'm sure you got the video. 
I know if you had seen the video and pictures before the incident at the hotel, you would have killed Emmanuel and covered up your skills. And that would have failed my plans. So I had to use the easiest way by bringing you two against yourselves. Yeah. So now that you have killed Josh, everything he has is now mine, including the ones he denied me. Why are you telling me this? Everything I explain to you now is just to tell you what I want. So what do you want? What exactly do you want? I think Josh was evil. This guy is the devil himself. How can he be so heartless to ask for all your major assets and to sleep with your daughter? My dear, he will never go unpunished for this. Never. I am going to send every video to the police as an evidence. <laughs> as for the sex day between Emmanuel and me, I'm going to feed it to the hungry masses. Her daughter of Jezebel will give birth to this demon. So, so what are you going to do? Madam, you, you never shop for two days, so. And how does that affect you? Madam, it affects me because you don't need sleep. Very soon now, I could come get body like Will you get out of my room? Make I go. Get out! Imagine an ostrich telling me when to eat and when not to eat. Hi. Hi, dear. What are you doing? I'm replying the mail. Are you out of your mind? What do you think you're about doing? What is the difference whether I reply the mail or not? Listen, Sharon. Let's negotiate with this guy. He might just change his mind. I already did with him. I told him he could have all my major assets except my daughter. And what did he say? He said having my daughter is more important to him than all my assets. Huh? This is wickedness. Then, uh, can I have my phone, please? Please. Thank you. It cannot be faster than your shadow. One day you can go back fire. So be careful, be mindful. Oh, take this life easy. One day you can go back fire. So be careful, be mindful. Oh, kid with salt, die by salt. One day you can go back fire, so be careful, be mindful, oh. So be careful, be careful, oh. One day you can go back fire, so be careful, be mindful, oh. One day this game go back fire, one day you can go back fire, so be careful, be mindful, oh. One day your game go be your One day your game go back fire So be careful, be mindful oh. You have seen it on the news as you think. I also saw all the nasty and disgusting views on social media She is such a disgusting How woman How dare you destiny? How dare you walk into my house and speak about my friend in such manner? 
Get out! This is the truth and I will not be afraid to say it. Your mother would not have been arrested if she agreed to get you to sleep with boy daughter. Apart from taking all her major assets as you demanded. Now get out! That's when I can leave my house! That's when leave my house! Out, I said! Never thought I'll be the one to make things right. The way things are going, I think I have to take a stand. What can I do? What can I use against this despicable animal that calls himself Boy Doctor? He wants me. I think I'll just have to give myself to him. Uh, so, this was me when I first got into Lagos. Yeah, let me shoot you another one. And here, I was already living in the gate. See? Were you still an assassin here? Uh, I've always been an assassin. That's what I do to end money. But I only killed the bad and corrupt people. Those were the people I only killed. Killing is killing. It's against the law. Who made the law? There has never been any law, because the people who made the law never kept it. Don't you think you're showing me a little bit too much? What if I use it against you someday? Would you? I don't want to get you for a safe way, would you? Same way I feel comfortable when you come around me. You're like a daughter I never had. You mean like a father I never had? Oh, come on. And, um, I see this. Oh, God. That was Speedy when he ended the life of the commissioner. Jesus Christ! Oh, come on, don't scream. He was a bad person too. <sighs> Show me no more. Okay, one more. Just one more thing. Look at this. Please! Okay, that's fine. But you're gonna keep this phone safe. What? Keep it. What am I supposed to do with this? Keep it safe. That's what you're supposed to do with it. I may not be coming around for now. Because my mom is starting to act suspicious. And she might instruct the gate man not to let me out again. Yeah, it's okay. It's alright. I'll try my best to keep it safe. You sure? I know you can. Come on. You can be okay, alright? Okay. What a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting you. You told my mom you wanted me, right? I'm here to give you exactly what you want. Aww. Isn't that so sweet? <laughs> Small pinchaja. <laughs> All right, just come to baby. What if I told you that your time is equally up? And what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> my time can never be up. I'm in charge now. I'm sure your mom told you what I want. Of course, you know I can easily tell them to release her and this matter will forever be over. You have no idea what you're up against, boy doctor. <laughs> what do you mean? So even after taking all my father had, you also wanted what my mom had. It wasn't enough for you, you want me to. Hey, enough. How greedy can you be, boy doctor? I said shut up. Or else. I said keep quiet. How greedy can you get, boy doctor? How greedy can you get? I said keep quiet. Listen to me, I have entertained you for too long. If you are not here to give me what I want, then you leave. You killed the commissioner of health three years ago. <laughs> oh, wait, little girl, you think you can blackmail me? Come on, you can never blackmail boy doctor. Let me get this game. I get full updates. I know all the nooks and crannies of this town. All right? So let me tell you something. 
I worked for every single thing your father had to his name. I put him where he belongs and there's nothing you can do about it because you got no proof. Oh, so you think, boy doctor. Of course I do. Well, how about I tell you your game is up? This SD card contains all the arsenal I need to nab you, boy doctor. Inspector. Hey, please. You are under no. arrest. Please. Uh, you are living <laughs> dangerous <laughs> life. Yeah, come out. Please move. Okay. Putting yourself at risk. Move. Please move. move. This lifestyle Fire, is dangerous. Fire back. Uh, where yes. is your conscience? Yeah. Your life yeah. is at risk. Please don't go. Uh, you can't hide your sins. You can't hide your sins. It's written all over. All over you. Mm. You can hide your sins. It's written all over you. All over you. You didn't have to turn and say it just like that. What do you mean by that? We all know how influential and powerful Sharon was. Listen, Sharon could walk into any office. She could speak to anyone. She could have pulled through this. Yeah, you're right. But in my exact words, she said she had lived almost all her life hurting people and always having her way. So for the first time in her life, she wanted to do the right thing. Seventeen years. Seventeen whole years. You call that bravery? Maybe she's doing this for her daughter. She wanted to teach her the true meaning of being powerful, yet something to be weak, even when you're strong. Speaking of which, destiny. How is she keeping up? She's doing okay. I'm praying over her mother's empire. She's a child. A child who is very intelligent and digital. Study the geography of this place. It's really big. Yeah, it is. This is an empire your mom spent her entire life in building. Of course, with the help of good at people like us. <laughs> when you turned 18, the throne she led to Beckham will be occupied by you. That's it, Kemi. Yes, baby. <laughs> But a child, how will I handle all these big things? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Look who is finally admitting that she is a child. Am I not your big baby? You know, not to worry. I'll be here to support you and support I shall. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I love you too, my baby. Come on, let's go. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes it's as good to 
be aware of some good friends to give. Sometimes it's as good.